KLFI TV's Texarkana Football is brought to you by these fine sponsors. The Baptist Bookstore. Barry Insurance. BCS Business Communication Systems. Brangus Feedlot. Chicken Express. Christus St. Michael. Cooper Tire and Rubber Company. Courtyard Marriott. Cowling Title Company. Domino Federal Credit Union. Freeman Landscape and Design. Hampton Inn and Suites. Liberty Ilo ISD. Millway Federal Credit Union. Or Chevrolet. Pete Mankins Nissan. Pleasant Grove ISD. Pizza Inn. Red River Federal Credit Union. Robbins Toyota. Southern Arkansas University Magnolia. Slim Chickens. Smiles of Arkansas. Sonic. Tamale. Texas A&M Texarkana. Texarkana Arkansas School District. Texarkana College. TDS Erectors and Crane Service. Texarkana Funeral Home. Texarkana, Texas ISD. TMG, the McDougal Group. Dr. Todd Figpin, DDS. Town Place Suites. UACCH. Wadley Regional Medical Center. Welcome to Razorback Stadium. Texarkana football fans, as tonight, the Arkansas High Razorbacks entertain the Little Rock Parkview Patriots. This is Joe Adams along with Ray Angle bringing you the telecast, and we're going to listen in on the coin toss before the game here. will get it first in this big 6A South Conference ball game. And it's a ball game, Ray, that uh, you, you hate to go there, but uh, the Razorbacks almost have to win this ball game tonight. I, I, I think so, Joe, and it's going to be a tough assignment. Uh, Parkview has a very, very good defense, so the Razorback offense is going to face the challenge tonight. Uh, can they get some points on the board? Their, uh, their defense is solid for the Razorbacks and going to make it tough on Parkview to score, but the Razorback offense is going to have to answer the bell. And and that's the strength of Parkview's team this year as well, Ray, their defense. Uh, struggling a little bit on offense, uh, but a team that uh, certainly is, is capable of, of playing extremely well defensively. Now, the Patriots are going to come into the ball game at 4-3, and 2-2 two and two in conference play. The Razorbacks are 2-5 and five on the season, 0-4 oh in conference play. But for the Razorbacks, 
Razorbacks benefit. They have played the four toughest teams in the conference thus far. So the Razorbacks have got to win two of their next three ball games in order to make the playoffs. Now, previous years, all eight teams from uh, each uh, of the divisions went to the playoffs. This year, it's six out of the eight. So Arkansas High finds itself in a spot where they really need to win this ball game tonight. That's true, Joe. And, and the Razorbacks have risen to the occasion in the past. We're used to that uh, from this Arkansas High team. So we're expecting a big ball game tonight. And uh, if, you, if you compare both offenses, Parkview averages about 25 points per game. Arkansas High about 16 points per game. But it's going to come down to the defenses and uh, offensive line versus defensive line and, and mistakes. Mistakes seem to always play uh, a big part in these ball games. And uh, if you remember, fans, last year we had Arkansas High versus Parkview in the first round of the playoffs. And uh, Arkansas High had an 18-0 halftime lead and uh, ended up losing 28-25. So Parkview brought back 16 starters from that uh, team from last year. So they're a pretty experienced ball club. So the Patriots set to kick it away here as Ronaldo Gomez has it teed up. And we're underway here from Razorback Stadium. And there will be no run back uh, for those fans who are from Texas. Uh, we need to explain that in Arkansas, you cannot run a ball back out of the end zone. If it is kicked into the end zone, it's an automatic touchback. So the Razorbacks will start out on offense here. And uh, we're expecting to see a new starting quarterback uh, tonight for the Razorbacks, and we'll see if that uh, is indeed the case. That is the case. T.J. Davis will get the start tonight at quarterback. Bailey Sprayberry has been the starting quarterback, but um, Davis uh, is a senior. He's been a backup for several years, and I uh, want to try their hand at a new quarterback. Going to hand the football off to uh, Bishop, and uh, Bishop breaks a couple tackles. Going to get up near the... Well, the line of scrimmage is about where he gets. Uh, the line was not able to get any, any opening there for him. And again, that's what we expect out of Parkview tonight. A very, very quick defense. Not necessarily a big defensive squad, but a team that will fly to the football. And you see Davis there getting the signal, going to go back into the huddle. And we know that Arkansas High is going to want to try to establish the run and then try those play action passes. And right now, Davis, you'll see in the shotgun formation. Davis back to pass. Pass is going to be complete to number 11. He's got some room going down the sideline. And a big play there as Demetri Hall comes up with a reception. And Joe Lee uh, caught the defender, giving him too much of an inside shade. And the defender allowed him that outside. He made a nice spin move and just uh, took it to him. All the way all the way down to the 43. Here's the Arkansas High uh, offense. Let's see if we've got that. We'll try to get that to you momentarily. But a first and 10 for the Razorbacks just outside the Parkview 43-yard line. Big play there on second down for that Razorback offense. Davis going to hand the foot, gonna, actually going to keep it himself. Got some running room inside the 40. Falls out. Drops the football. It's picked up by the Patriots at the 40, at midfield, at the 40, at the 30. And uh, one man to, to beat him, and that is Bishop, not able to get there. And so touchdown for the Patriots as Denzel McElroy picks it up and takes it back 70 yards for the touchdown. And Joe, you know, really looking promising there, but you just can't, uh, can't lose the handle on the ball. Take a look here at the... Let's see if we've got the replay yeah, see if there. We've got the replay. Well, apparently we don't have it, but uh, uh, Davis had a big pickup there uh, on first down. Lost the football. 70-yard return for the touchdown uh, by McElroy. And so the Patriots on the scoreboard here first. And we mentioned, Ray, turnover is going to be a big part of that ball game here this evening. They sure are, Joe. And, and there's the first one. Now, the Razorbacks have made that mistake. They're going to have to stop and not and continue this game and not have any more. And the extra point is good for the Patriots. 7 nothing here with 10.45 to play. We'll be back right after this. Ah, this is Bo Phillips. How long has it been since you've had a big, thick, juicy steak from the Brangus feedlot? Well, that's too long. She's a rendered girl. Last time we sold a new Chevy for under 12000 our hair was a lot darker and Joel was a lot shorter. But today, you can buy a Chevy Spark for eleven nine. And unlike the cars of yesterday, the Spark gets 40 MPGs. It's got 10 airbags. It's got a 100,000 mile warranty. 
plus two years free maintenance. Plus, check out all these other standard features. All for $11.9. And we only have 50 sparks left, so see us today at Or Chevrolet. John Stewart and the Patriot Hall back deep for the Razorback. So Gomez has it teed up for the Patriots as the Patriots take an early 7-0 lead on the defensive touchdown by McElroy. And this is going to go into the end zone again here. And another touchback. The Razorbacks will start at the 20-yard line. Now, Ray, for the, the Arkansas High Razorback offense, uh, they have got to put that behind them. they yeah. got to forget about it, come out and run that offense. Look good yeah, there they, early on. They were, they were making some nice plays and moving the ball. They'd taken it from their 20 all the way down to about the 35. Here is the Arkansas High Razorback offense. We'll try to get that, we'll get for, that you. for you in a minute. But, uh, yeah, you, you've uh, had some positive plays, look good, put the ball on the ground, uh, and a turnover for a touchdown. But come back out and do the same thing. Uh, forget about that play and, and just play like it's 0-0 at this point if you're Arkansas high. And Bishop is a tailback. Davis under center. Bishop going to carry the football. Uh, Bishop's got a little bit of running room. Going to get up near the 28-yard line. About eight yards on that carry, Joe. See, the Razorback offense is moving the ball fairly well. They're, you know, they didn't have any success straight up the middle, but they are able to, to attack these edges. The pickup of eight on first down, and you'll take that all night long if you're the Razorbacks uh, offensively. Second down and two here for the Razorbacks. Galbraith is in it fullback, so the I formation look this time for the Razorbacks. Bishop is the tailback. Davis under center. Going to hand it off to Bishop. Bishop going to be denied the first down marker just outside the 29-yard line. Going to bring up third and less than a yard. Big Nick McCann comes Bishop in to uh, play offense. Here's the uh, Razorback High offense. Sylvester Henderson, T.J. Davis, Stacey Malls, the Marquion Roberts, Josh Smith, Andrew Osborne, Mark Harvey, Staten Wade Gurley, Bailey Sprayberry, Andrew Bishop, Kristen Galbraith. But Bailey not getting uh, Bailey Sprayberry not getting the, the starting nod tonight. That's senior T.J. Davis at the quarterback position. So third and one here, um, Cross and uh, going to have the first down or the Razorbacks. I like that play, Joe. They they uh, fake the end around, hand it off on a trap play to the running back, and it worked very nicely. So Bishop picks up the first down for the Razorbacks. So first and ten at the 36-yard line. And the Razorbacks, as I said, first possession, moving the ball quite well, and uh, they're just going to continue to do that. First and 10 at the 36. You got two receivers split out to the left. And fake the uh, throw, and Bishop going to carry the football, hit very hard. But a pickup of seven yards, Joe. But uh, number nine there on the tackle, and that is uh, Giovanni McClendon. Here's the defense for the Patriots. Denzel McElroy, Giovanni McClendon, Lamar Hardiman, Bryce Brown, Aaron Daniels, Joshua Spearman, Kiri Hilliard, Dominique Scott, Markel Utzi, Kenyon Jackson, and Deion Davidson. A first down run here, or near the first down marker for the Razorbacks. Just barely and short, Bishop Joe. Bishop again, the ball carrier. They got him down about a half yard short looks like so it'll be third less than a yard here for the Razorbacks as a Galbraith's going to come back in at the fullback spot Davis has got to play and uh, Razorbacks here going to try to just tuck in behind the big offensive line and the fullback and pick up this half yard and I wouldn't be surprised to see Davis keep it himself right here I, I think with half a yard to go I, it's probably the best play they hand it off and uh, going to be gonna stuffed. Not going to get there. The interior of that defense with a big stop. And Joe, I, I'm not going to say that you should go for it on fourth down at this point in the game right there, but I will say you should send your offense out there, tell them don't move under any circumstances, and try to get the defense to jump off. That's right. Cheatham, the, Cheatham, the ball carrier, down. short on the third down play. So fourth down for the Razorbacks. Dominique Scott uh, makes the stop, and uh, he plays fullback for Parkview, also linebacker, probably their best athlete, number 34. 
Arterberry with the uh, kick. Going to be a fair he said, catch. Gonna well, be... he did not clearly signal fair catch, Joe. He took both arms and waved them once. And, and there's the flag, though. But, but Joe, I mean, if I'm the Arkansas high coaches, I'm going to say, look, you know, you're supposed to wave one hand back and forth above your head, not not look like you're doing the breaststroke swimming. Yeah, that was uh, kind of deceiving there. You could almost argue that it was just part of the uh, yeah. uh, tr trying to catch the football. And uh, we'll see on the replay coming up here. Supposed to wave one arm. It doesn't matter left or right, but clearly let wave one arm. He, just, he, he, yeah. gives, he gives, looks like more like a getaway signal. Yeah, that's what I, well, yeah. when I first saw it. I thought he was telling his other teammates to get away from it. But nevertheless, a five-yard penalty um, interference with the uh, punt returner. And you see the smiles of Arkansas School Board seven to nothing for the Patriots here early in this ball game, and that's on a 70-yard uh, return on a fumble uh, by uh, Denzel McElroy. So this will be the first time that we've seen the Patriots with a football uh, starting at quarterback for the Patriots. They got a new quarterback this year, as you see, head coach Todd Ledford there got something to say as the official is going to talk it over, but. Kalen Jackson is the son of uh, all-pro uh, tight end uh, Keith Jackson, who played at Oklahoma. A tremendous athlete. Saw him starting as a freshman in the secondary last year. Takes over the quarterbacking job this year for the Patriots. And Joe, he's, uh, he's going to check with the coaches on the sideline to, to see if they want to change the play. Not sure what the discussion was here. I believe Coach... Okay, so it is going to be a 15-yard penalty uh, interference with the uh, return man. And, and, and Joe, again, you know, I got a side with Arkansas penalty High on this one. That was a very, very unclear signal that uh, should not qualify. You cannot wave both hands. Oh, here we go. First and 10 for the Patriots. First time on offense for the Patriots. Split backfield. Jackson under center. Man in motion. Hand the football off to uh, number one, and that is uh, Colby McNeil, the ball carrier. McNeil going to pick up about seven on first down. McNeil is a junior, and he they actually list him as a wide receiver, Joe. Pick up a seven on play. Second down three for Little Rock. Uh, McNeil back there in the backfield along with Jason Green, another junior running back for the Patriots. Man in motion is uh, Xavier Same Robertson play. and uh, going to be stacked up this time. Maybe a yard gain is uh, Nick McCann uh, along with uh, Kendall Coleman and others on the tackle. So that's going to bring up a third and one. Here's the Patriots offense here. Kobe McNeil, Colin Jackson, Xavier Roberson, Amari James, Fred Mackey, Keaton Richardson, Randall Harper, Tyler Roberson, Carter Rainey, Justin Baker, and Benjamin Desmuke. So third down and about a yard here for the Patriots. Ball right at the 47 of the Patriots. Hand off the ball again. Got some room here. One tackle there. He breaks that tackle, Ray. That's yep. six. And, Joe, that's the same play just flipped into a mirror image. And that's time uh, it's uh, Jason Green, the other tailback, running the football here for the Patriots. These are, are really quick hitters here, as you mentioned, Ray. Same play, just to a different side and different tailback. And Arkansas High has got to uh, find a way to stop that. But what the Patriots are going to do, Ray, is you stop that, they're going to try, start trying to go no, outside on see, you. Yeah, you've got an, a man running an end-around type motion, and they will give it to him. And then the third thing is the quarterback will start bootlegging. A little jet sweep here. Breaks a tackle. Got some running room, and that is uh, Xavier Roberson. There's a man in motion. Going to have the first down as he powers his way down to the 35-yard line. Take a look here at the Razorback defense. Nick McCann, Devontae Black, Channing Works, James Bailey, Jonathan Bailey, Kendall Coleman, Caleb Quinn, Ty Mitchell, Stacey Moss, LeVert Paxton, and Cadrius Cheatham. And Cheatham not starting tonight for the Razorbacks out with uh, an injury. Tailback's got the football. That's uh, number one, uh, McNeil. McNeil going to be very near the first down marker. Looks to have it as he goes down to the 24-yard line. 
Moss, Moss makes the tackle, but not before another Patriot first down. This Parkview team is looking very impressive, Joe. They're, uh, they're really blocking very well, too. So first and 10 here for the Patriots. Two tight ends in the ball game here. Handed off and nothing doing this time as uh, Bailey, uh, excuse me, yeah, that's Bailey on the tackle there for the Razorbacks, uh, along with Channing Works. And uh, Galbraith also there. Galbraith loses his helmet, so got to come off for one play. And uh, that time, the Razorbacks raid not fooled by that uh, by that same play that we've seen before. Well, they got good penetration at the line of scrimmage, which kept the uh, Patriots from being able to to uh, run down the line. They had to try to give ground, and that blew the play up. Now, we've not seen the Patriots attempt to throw the football. They haven't had to up to this point. We'll see uh, what they decide to do here on second down and 15. Yeah, a little mix up there in the handoff. And uh, uh, at the bottom of the pile there for the Razorbacks is Caleb Quinn. Carry. Neil, the ball carrier, but a loss of another yard. So it'll be third down and 16. And, and now you got to think that uh, you're going to see a passing play. We've not seen Jackson, the quarterback, keep the ball yet, but he's an outstanding athlete. Joe, I think they're going to run a play action type pass, try to get the linebackers to bite, and then hit, them, hit one across the middle. So third and 16 here for the Patriots. This time Jackson in the shotgun, split backfield back there. Back to pass. He's got time. He's going to step up in the pocket. He's got a little bit of running room and uh, going to be hit Big very hit hard at the 20. 20. By number 20. By number 20, and that is Jonathan Thanks Bailey, the linebacker. Barry. Going to be about six uh, yards short. Uh, now, uh, and watching the kicker warm up, uh, Ray, he's got a pretty good leg, and they're going to send him on right here. And that is uh, Ronaldo Gomez. Yeah, he was kicking it into the end zone on all the kickoffs so far, too. So Gomez will set up for the 37-yard field goal attempt here for the Patriots. Patriots up 7-0 here on a defensive fumble recovery Patriots for a touchdown. A 37-yard field goal. Amari James is the holder. Good snap. Kick is up, and the kick is hit the, hit the crossbar. Did it go over though? It did not go, did over. Not go over. Hit the crossbar, came directly good down. Ball. So the Razorbacks okay. get a break right the there. The the if that's a 36-yard field goal, it's good. Uh, and it hit hit the uh, the, the, uh, the crossbar and came straight down. So our score remains seven to nothing. The Razorbacks will now have their third possession of the game. First possession, they moved the ball very very well but they fumbled and it was returned for a touchdown. Second possession, they got a couple of first downs but got stopped on a third and less than a yard and were forced to punt. Now the Razorbacks will take over this time at their 20-yard line. First and 10 at that point. Davis still in there at quarterback. Bishop is the tailback. And uh, Bishop on a little delayed draw. Going to have a couple. And that's about it. As the uh, the linebackers for the Patriots are very very active early in this ball game. So we're looking at second and eight here. As Davis comes back in with the play, Razorbacks with two receivers out, one to the left, one to the wide. Absolute single coverage on the wide receiver on the right. Davis is back to pass. He's got time and good coverage there. And basically just threw that one away. It tended over there for Demetri Hall. And that's the same play they ran earlier that they had a lot of success on. But good coverage this time. It looked like the decision was made before the ball was ever snapped, but that's who he was throwing to. Spearman on the uh, coverage. So third down and eight here for the Razorbacks. The Razorbacks down 7-0 here with 2.28 to play in this first quarter. And that one score, a defensive score for the Patriots. Davis back to pass. Got a little pressure. Steps up in the pocket. Pass is going to be complete. It's going to be just enough for the first down, Joe. And the receiver had to come back for the football. That was, uh, let's see, number 88 for the Razorbacks. Number 88. And Joe, you watch. He runs down, then he breaks back, and uh, that gets the separation that he needs to complete the ball. Very nice throw and catch there. Timothy Stuckey comes up with reception. And a first and 10 for the Razorbacks at the 30. Uh, 
And the football off again to Bishop. Bishop going to lose yardage this time. And Joe, the interior of that Patriot defensive line is not, I mean, they are not being a, being moved at all. They're, uh, you know, Razorbacks are not having any success up the middle at all. Yeah, that was uh, Markel uh, Utsi on the tackle along with, I believe, number 20. Two as well. And, and one thing to notice here is that the linemen are keeping the offensive linemen off of the linebackers. So the linebackers are able to just go and run. And uh, Bishop going to be knocked out of bounds here. Going to get back near the 30-yard line. So it'll gain a couple. And, and any time, Ray, that your defensive linemen can free up the, the linebackers, you're going to have some yeah. success. And uh, the Razorbacks may have to run a little bit of misdirection here on the uh, against the Patriots because the Patriots are flowing to the sideline pretty quickly. Third and 11 coming up here for the Razorbacks. 131 to play here in the first quarter. 7-0 lead for the Patriots. Davis in the shotgun. Davis back to pass, got a little pressure. The pass is going to be complete to the 43-yard uh, line. It's enough for the first down, and that's again number 88 for the Timothy Razorbacks. Stuckey. Timothy Stuckey. Stuckey is T.J. Stuckey comes up with the reception here. Uh, again, good time for Davis to throw the football. I like the delivery of the ball, Joe. So another first and 10 at the 43 of the Razorbacks. The Razorbacks came out running the ball successfully, and uh, they've had some success now on this drive, throwing the football. Bishop the ball carrier. Bishop going to be dropped uh, at Joe, the line of scrimmage. Number 23 there for the Patriots came through absolutely untouched. He was in the backfield before the ball was. Tyree Madison, sophomore Bishop linebacker, Jerry. very That's active the there. And again, keep an eye at, uh, on number 34, uh, Dominique Scott, supposedly their best athlete, plays fullback, also plays in the linebacker spot. But 23 has been very active thus far in this first quarter. A little screen pass going to be complete to uh, Stuckey. And uh, Stuckey breaks the tackle, backtracking here and uh, losing some yardage. But... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, gets back to where he originally was at about the Joe, midfield stripe. He just ran 18 yards to go three. And that's where, you know, coaches are getting gray hairs uh, as you're backtracking, backtracking, yeah. you're losing yardage. Yeah, you don't get forward progress if you voluntarily give it up. And that should be the last play of the first quarter, Joe, as the clock is winding down to three, two, one. That is the end of the first quarter here from Razorback Stadium with our score, Little Rock Parkview 7, Arkansas High, nothing. State-of-the-art technology has the potential to revolutionize learning. My teachers told me I had the potential to be a doctor. Now I believe them. Texarkana, Arkansas's magnet program will make the most of Chloe's potential in the arts. The three and a half million dollars in scholarships they've earned will potentially change their lives. For every child at every age, choose the Texarkana, Arkansas School District where potential is realized. Car buyers, make it to Mankins, Pete Mankins Nissan, and get the new 2015 Altima for $19.9 or $289 down and $289 a month. That's a purchase, not a lease. And get up to $500 on a Walmart gift card for back-to-school expenses when you buy. $289 down and $289 a month buys the new 2015 Altima. During the Pete Mankins Nissan back-to-school sales event, it ends Monday at Pete Mankins Nissan, Summer Hill Road, Texarkana, and at PeteMankins.com. Pete Mankins is making deals. Third down for the Razorbacks here as we get set to start the second quarter. And uh, the Razorbacks going to complete the pass. And that is Demetri Call who comes up with the reception at the 40-yard line. I think Davis is releasing the ball very nicely, and he's, he's on target, Joe. Yeah, he's, uh, he's brought a little life to that passing game here for the Razorbacks tonight. And, and again, this is a guy, Ray, that he's been a backup quarterback for the last few years, been in the system, uh, very well acquainted with the system. 
system is uh, it's very, very new to the arc so high this year and uh, has had some difficulty with the passing game. But Davis uh, uh, able to deliver the ball on target here so far in his first half. Going Boy, for the big one. And that's Hall, and it's going to be thrown out of bounds. But that taking that deep shot will keep the uh, cornerbacks and the safeties from cheating up too much. Yeah, you know, and a lot of times fans will, will see that and they'll say, you know, why are you even trying something like that? You know, you might try it two or three times. But, again, you have to let them know that you're willing to throw that so that you can't get nine and ten guys in the box to stop the run. So it'll be second down and ten here for the Razorbacks. Bishop the tailback. Davis at the uh, uh, quarterback position in his shotgun. Going to hand it off to, no, he's going to keep it himself is Davis. Picks and, up about four. And Davis down to about the 36-yard line. So it'll be third down and six here for the Razorbacks. As you see, a good shot there of senior quarterback T.J. Davis, who has primarily been playing wide receiver for the Razorbacks. He's played a little bit at quarterback. And uh, doing a good job so far here in this first half for the Razorbacks. Little third and six here. Got to think they're going to throw the football here. You got two receivers out to the left. Low snap. Davis able to get it. And pass is going to be complete. To He's got the first down, Joe, by about one yard. And that Demetri is Hall. Demetri Hall again. That's complete to Demetri Hall. The and, it, and these little short passes out to uh, out to the sides here, uh, you know, are working well for the Razorbacks right now because Patriot defenders are, are giving them plenty of room out there. They've also got a size mis mismatch. The Patriot cornerback on that side is very uh, very diminutive in stature, and the uh, so they're they're able to complete the ball. But what I like, Joe, and what's the difference is the ball's on target, but more importantly, uh, the receivers are catching it. Yeah. And they've had some problems with drops earlier this year. So first and 10 for the Razorbacks, just inside the 30 of the Patriots. And Bishop, the ball carrier, Bishop gets back to the line of scrimmage, and that's about it. As again, that interior of the line there for the Patriots Bishop doing a good carry. job. Scott. Official calling something here. There's a flag on the play. There's a flag on the far sideline there. And you got to think that's maybe a hold. Yeah, I don't know. No, he's, he's looking like it's a personal foul. I'm okay. not sure. Maybe a dead, it's a dead ball personal foul after yeah. the play. Let's see here. Illegal chop block against the defenders. Okay. We don't see that cold very often. That's a five yard mark off. And that basically, the officials aren't going to call that unless they think somebody was intending to hurt somebody out there. So they've got the second down marker up there, but uh, wouldn't it, shouldn't it be first down? Well, I would also think it would have been a 15-yarder because a personal foul is a 15-yard penalty. Penalty against Parkview. That'll bring up second down and five to raise back from the Patriots 25-yard line. Well, second down and five here for the uh, Razorbacks. And uh, whistles stopping play. Patriots taking a timeout here. 10-23 to play. But we'll take a timeout as well and be back right after this. Football free for all. Tailgate. Can't, Can't wait. wait. On our way to chicken eat. Unbelievable. Sweet tea. Hot and crispy french fries too. Who's first? Me or you? Express tenders. Mind tenders. Creamy gravy. Sauces maybe. Coin toss. Who's the boss? Chicken tea with sweet iced tea. Follow me to chicken eat. Back, back here at Razorback Stadium is 10-23 to play. Razorback's a good drive here, Ray. Got a second down at five. And, you know, we saw them on the first couple of drives, as you see the scoreboard there of uh, Smiles of Arkansas scoreboard, running the ball well. But right here on this drive, the Razorbacks have been able to throw the football very effectively. So it's going to bring up second down and five. Davis awaits the snap. Going to throw a little screen pass out here over the head of the intended receiver. That's T.J. Stuckey at the 28-yard line. Um, that's only, I think, his second incompletion, Joe. I believe it is. And that uh, 
That was close to being a lateral right there. It, yeah. just, uh, it, went, out it went out of bounds. Out of bounds so. But you're right. If it had, if it had hit the ground, Joe, uh, they might have been able to say that that was a live ball. The third down and five here for the Razorbacks. Ball at the 25 of the Patriots. And you got to think the Razorbacks are in four down territory right here. Of oh, course, yeah. depending on what this, uh, the outcome of this play is. Davis gets the snap. Looks to throw the football. Pass is incomplete. Intended over there for Stuckey again at the 20. And Joe, uh, it might have been a good thing that he threw that ball into the ground. There were three defenders there. And I think if the ball wasn't on the ground, they would have made a break on it. Yeah, I think that was intentional by Davis to, to do that because he gets that ball up there. That could go back uh, 70 yards, 75 yards for a touchdown. So it'll be fourth down here for the Razorbacks as uh, Davis gets the play from the sideline. And Joe, I think the, the, the receiver they're going to have to look for is the tight end, Joe. The, uh, the Patriots are doubling up on both wide receivers out here, and if anybody's going to be open, it's going to be the tight end. So Kyler Nowling, number 84, the tight end. And uh, going and looking for him. Released, he was open. Pass is going to be complete. Stuckey for the touchdown. Nice pass, nice catch by Stuckey. Uh, he was able to shake the defenders. They had two of them on him, Joe. And we'll see the Cooper Tires replay. Nice throw and catch here. Plenty of time for Davis to throw the football. And, um, yeah, good job there. Stuckey just going down and uh, catching that ball, taking it in for the touchdown. So one point away from a tie ball game here as uh, Braswell on for the point after. Kick is up, and the kick is good. 7-7 ball game here at Razorback Stadium. We'll be back right after this. At Liberty Allo High School, a variety of opportunities exist to teach students how to be productive members of society. Dual credit college courses ensure that LEHS graduates have a head start on their continuing education. Extensive career and technical education offerings give students job-ready skills to compete in a shrinking job market. Extracurricular activities, including band, academic UIL, and theater, allow students to display outstanding artistic skills. And as always, LEHS athletic teams are among the top in the state. Liberty Isle High School truly is a great place for students and educators. Tennessee. We're back here at uh, Razorback Stadium. 7-7 ball game, as you see, by the Smiles of Arkansas Dental Center scoreboarded. Ray, an impressive drive right there by the Razorbacks as they took over at their own 20-yard line and uh, drove it down the field, primarily throwing the football. T.J. Yes. Davis has uh, only got a couple of balls, that are, or maybe three balls now that are incomplete, but he's really thrown the ball well here in this first half. Very, very accurate, and I'm impressed. The Razorback receivers have done an excellent job of getting open and catching the ball. So Braswell set to kick it away here for the Razorbacks. A new ball game here, 7-7 in the 6A South battle. A big ball game that the Razorbacks really need. Kick going to be uh, taken at the six-yard line by the Patriots. Back to the 20. The uh, 25 run out of bounds at about the 27-yard line. So the Patriots will take over first and 10 at that point. Now, Ray, we saw the very first time the Patriots had the football that uh, they had some success uh, running the football. They've not really done much as far as throwing the football. Uh, but uh, since that time, the, uh, the Razorback defense has pretty well shut them down. They have, Joe, and, and the Razorback offense has moved the ball very well the entire game. They, the only miscue was that one fumble. Uh, the Patriots will uh, take over first and 10, 7-7 seven, seven here with a 9.59 to play uh, in the first half from Razorback Stadium. Single coverage, there's no safety anywhere on that field, Joe. And uh, Jackson keeps it himself. And Jackson is going to be stood up by Stacy Moss, but he gets the first down. That's the first time we've seen Jackson carry the football. And Ray, we knew that Jackson is a, is a great athlete, and I think we're going to see more out of Jackson carrying the football. And Joe, I really think if the Razorbacks give that look again, the, the Patriots are going to audible straight to a pass. No, first and 10 here for the Patriots. Ball at their own 39-yard line. Again, Same look. Nobody no, in the middle. No safety here. And uh, Jackson going to keep it again himself. And uh, this time he slips down at about the 43-yard line. And, you know, Joe, I, I, 
It's, uh, it's a, just a deadly dangerous thing to not have anybody back there. If anybody pops through the line, they're gone. There is a flag on the play on the far sideline. And I think, Joe, one of the Razorbacks kind of jumped into the neutral zone. We're going to call a face mask. I yeah. thought he slipped down before anybody yeah, tackled him. That's what I thought. I thought it was uh, a uh, neutral zone infraction by the defense myself, but it is a five-yard penalty. And I also didn't think the five-yard face mask existed anymore. Yeah, so second down and one now as uh, the uh, Patriots going to go back to a more traditional look here offensively. Uh, some discussion again going on here with the officials. Okay, it's the uh, play clock has not been reset. And here we go. The second down and one here for the Patriots. Jackson has carried the ball twice now. A little screen pass going to be complete. And uh, got some running room here. Breaks a tackle and gets out to or down into Razorback territory. Razorbacks say they've got the ball. And the Razorbacks do have the football. Come on. Job. Take a look at this hit. It dislodges the ball here. Number four comes up with a reception. And a big hit going to come up here. Right, right there. Right on the ball. And, that's, and it's on the ground now. That's number four, Kendall Coleman with the hit. And the Razorbacks get the football here. The first turnover for the Patriots. And the Razorbacks have just scored. So the momentum kind of shifting in the favor of the Razorbacks here right now. And uh, if you're just joining us, the Patriots uh, have scored their only touchdown on a, a, a fumble return from the defense of 70 yards. And we're knotted here at seven. Davis back in the shotgun. Bishop is the uh, tailback. Got a lot of pressure this time, blitzing him. And uh, <laughs> wisely throws it out of, out of bounds to somebody on the bench. And I, I, I was really wondering when that was going to start happening because Davis has had all day to throw the football. And there you see a blitz coming from the linebackers by the Patriots. And, Joe, the, uh, the only way to handle the blitz as far as uh, if they're going to send more people than you have blockers, you have to have receivers that are going to know to alter their route. And, and uh, I don't know at the high school level if very many teams will do that. We second down and 10 now for the Razorbacks. Patriots looks like they're going to blitz again. This time uh, Bishop got the carry. Bishop uh, falls forward for about three. So it'll be third down and seven for the Razorbacks. And then, of course, right, that's one thing you can do as an offense. If you if you feel like that uh, the defense is going to start blitzing you, uh, you know, on in passing situations, you try to run the little draws and things there. And uh, the Razorbacks only get it about three that time. So third down seven now for the Razorbacks. 8.25 to play here in the first half. We're tied up at seven. And timeout on the field by the Razorbacks. 7-7 seven, seven ball game. We'll be back to Razorback timeout. Stadium right Razorback. after this. At Pizza Inn, only our large pizza can hold a deal this big. Right now, you can get any large pizza on any crust for just 10 bucks. Spicy pepperoni, green peppers, and black olives on thin crust, just 10 bucks. Mouth-watering sausage, crisp green peppers, and mushrooms on New York crust, 10 bucks. You want a large pizza on any kind of crust for 10 bucks? You want Pizza Inn. Pizza Inn, our buffet made your way. 25 years of growing, winning, learning, succeeding, honoring the past, embracing the future, Pleasant Grove, ISD. Third and seven play for the Razorbacks is incomplete. Intended over there for Stuckey. Joe, the tight end was running uncovered down the field. Yeah, he's had a couple of times where he's been open and uh, Davis uh, not able to see. And again, right, and you get a quarterback that, even though he's been in the system for a while, he's not been taking a lot of snaps at the quarterback position. Uh, oftentimes it's difficult to look off your primary receiver and look for that guy, the secondary receiver, and that's the case there. 
Low punt, going to bound at the 27. Take a Razorback bounce inside the 20 to the 16-yard line. So the Patriots will start with their poorest field position here in the first half. Good shot there of the crowd here at Razorback Stadium tonight is, uh, again, the Razorbacks 0-4 in conference play. Got to win two out of the, the, the next three. Uh, and uh, certainly the, the two games after this for them in conference play, not going to be nearly as tough as what they've been facing. Uh, they'll play a Sheridan team that's uh, it's a little bit down this year and a Hall team that's, uh, frankly, not very good at all. Yeah, so Hall has Hall hasn't won a game, have they? Uh, they've not won a game in the last few years, I believe. I think they tied uh, maybe their first game of the year uh, this year, but uh, they've not won a ball game in, in several years. Mm -hmm. Unable to get Drew Central on the on the uh, <laughs> on the schedule. Yeah, apparently uh, the Drew Central has a lot of a lot of teams calling them. Well, timeout here by the Patriots. 8-12 to play. We'll be back after a word from our sponsors. UA Texarkana is at a great location right across from Bobby Ferguson Park where you feel safe, secure, and you can focus on your education. You know, there's not that much pressure of just going to a huge university where there's a ton of competition. It's more friendly and you can actually communicate with people better. There's not a teacher in this building that's not willing to go above and beyond to make sure that you're able to excel and uh, definitely be great in the field that you choose to take in your, fu in your future endeavors. So. We, we want you, you at UA Texarkana. Your knee bones connected to your leg bone. Your arm bones connected to your shoulder bone. But if something happens, and they aren't, you need top flight orthopedic specialists trained to treat a variety of patients, like the people at Wadley Regional Medical Center, who know the unique procedures and technologies to put you back on your feet and back in the game. Wadley Regional Medical Center. Quality, caring, close by. First down run by the Patriots is going to lose yardage back to about the 12-yard line. <laughs> now the uh, Razorback defense is stiffened here in this second quarter. They bring up a second down and 13 now for the Patriots. And, and really, the only positive running that we've seen out of the Patriots in the second quarter has been with Jackson himself. Jackson's got the football now. Jackson going to take it over the 15 to about the 17-yard line before uh, Channing Works and Nick McCann make the tackle for the Razorbacks. They'll bring up a third down and seven now for Jackson. the Patriots. Ball throw on the 18-yard line. I'll bring up third and seven for the Patriots. Good shot there of sophomore quarterback, Kalen Jackson. Jackson gonna carry it again himself. Gonna throw it this time. And uh, oh. he was he was across the line of scrimmage. That's what the flag's so. gonna be right there. Flag on the the Razorbacks, if, if that would cause them to get another play, the Razorbacks will decline that. Take a look here at the Cooper Tire replay. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's just in. barely, but I think he's past the line of scrimmage. So it'll be fourth down here for the Patriots. Oh, actually, it's like a holding call. Okay. It's, which is declined by the Razorbacks. So they'll bring up fourth and seven. the Patriots. Razorbacks are very, very deep to receive this punt. Yeah, uh, I think it's uh, going to end up bounding in front of them here. They're about 45 yards deep. Is Dominique Scott going to punt it away for the Patriots? Patriots get a man on here late. They've still got plenty of time down to 15 seconds left on the play clock. High snap, but no pressure on Scott. Very low line drive punt taken at the 40-yard line. And by Levert Paxton. Paxton still on his feet. Paxton down into uh, Patriot territory at the 42-yard line. So great field position here for the Razorback offense. Take a look at the replay from Cooper Tarr. 
Kyrie Madison on this is a line drive. Anytime you get a line drive punt, uh, it's certainly going to be returnable. Makes two nice moves there to uh, make the first two men miss. Well, the uh, Razorbacks will actually start at the 41 where they spot the football. Razorbacks uh, looking to take the lead here. Tied at 7-7. Razorbacks have never led thus far in the first half. Davis awaits the snap. Hands the football off to uh, Bishop. Bishop going to be nailed right about the line of scrimmage. And Joe, uh, Bishop is trying to cut the ball back, but it really looks like he's got the blocking out in front of him. Just continue the play. Yeah. Now, I, I will say that the Patriots are doing a good job of stringing it out mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, getting bodies out there. So it is uh, no gain. Second down and 10 here for the Razorbacks. The Razorbacks have had a great deal of success here in the second quarter with the pass. And got to expect it right here. Davis back to pass. Got time. Steps up in the pocket. Passes. Oh, dropped at the 25-yard line. Could throw that time. And Stucky just not able to come up with it. The tight end is over here with nobody within 15 yards of him. Yeah. He's yeah. looking. You know, that's one of the things. He's looking at uh, for 88 and possibly number one. Or number 11, excuse me. But take a look here at the replay. Here, good time. Uh, no no uh, blitz. And, uh, yeah, tight end. They're going to come back to that. Because there have been three or four plays where the tight end has been wide open. And, you know, that's a linebacker that's probably covering the tight end, and the yeah, linebacker is not doing it. He's missing it, yeah. This time they do have a linebacker on him. We'll see. Yep, they got coverage on him this time. Pass is going to be incomplete. Tended over there for uh, Demetri Hall. So it'll bring up a fourth and ten. Davis has attempted to make your call. But at that time, Ray, they did have the linebacker on, uh, yeah. on the on the uh, yes, but he ran, he ran he ran a crossing route, and the minute he made his break, he was going to have excellent separation and nobody around him. So fourth down here for the Razorbacks as Artaberry set to punt it away at his own 45-yard line. A very high, nice punt here from Artaberry. And uh, going to be taken at the eight-yard line. And a little bit scary there for the Patriots mm -hmm. in that a uh, little bit shaky there coming up with that football. Gave a little bit better signal this time, Joe. 5.42 to play here in the first half. 7-7 seven, seven ball game. And the uh, Razorbacks are winning the uh, field advantage right now in that they've got the Patriots backed up deep in their own territory. So Razorback defense, which has been outstanding all night, they've not given up a point on their defense. And, uh, and Joe, you just can't really say enough. The Patriots have been unable to drive the ball at all. They're getting wide splits here, Joe. Well, first and 10 for the Patriots. And they're on nine-yard line. And uh, tailback with the carry and that is Jason Green. Green going to have about three yards on first down. And Joe, where you see those wide splits, a lot of people like to run a zone blocking scheme. And the way that works best is you put the running back about 10 yards deep, 10 or 11 yards deep, and hand it to his deep so he can see where the lanes open up. And you tell your offensive lineman, whichever side they go to, block them that way. So there will be a lane opening somewhere, but right. uh, they, they're not running that part of the play where they hand the ball off very, very deep. Again, Green, the ball carrier. Ball's out. Ball's down, though. It's down on the, on the turf. And so it'll be short of the first down markers. They're going to mark him down at about the 19, oh, excuse me, 18 yard line. The, the, the yardage to make is to the 19. And so it'll be third down and one here for the Patriots. It's number 20 for the Razorbacks. Uh, looks like he jammed his thumb real bad and That's had to get somebody uh, to take a look at it. Jonathan Bailey, the linebacker, coming off the field. So the uh, Razorbacks have to get a new linebacker in there. The third down and one here for 
uh, the Patriots. And uh, Jackson going to keep it himself, going to have the first down. So he just gets to the 19-yard line. That's what he needed. Although they, they have the fourth down marker there, but I thought he made the pass the, the line of scrimmage uh, at the uh, or the yard marker at the 19. Yeah, he's he's almost to the 20. Okay, there it is. They just hadn't changed it yet. So first and 10, and, and really, Ray, the, again, the passing game has been non-existent for the Patriots, and the, the best running they've had so far has been out of the quarterback, Jackson. Well, the Razorback defense has done an outstanding job, and uh, they've disrupted the play. They've done a good job of tackling. Not much there. Maybe a yard for the Patriots. Right at, basically right at the line of scrimmage. And uh, another Razorback shaking up a little bit. That's Tyler Gray, number 40. Stays on the field, though. It'll be second down. And we'll call it second and 10. He made it maybe a half a yard. As you see, a good shot there of uh, junior Nick McKinn, a big part of that Razorback defense. Jackson's got the snaps, back to pass. He's got time, but uh, now he's going to run and uh, just throws it out of bounds there. You know, the, the passing game for the Patriots, Ray, just looks really shaky to me. I, I, I don't know. Yeah, just, um, you know, they must not have confidence in it when you can see the Razorbacks line up with everybody on the line of scrimmage and nobody playing, playing back off the line, and the Patriots still won't throw the ball. So third down and we'll call it 10 here for the Patriots. We'll see what they decide to do at this point. You can't turn it over if you're the Patriots here. So we'll see how much confidence they do have in that passing game. All kinds of motion there. Going to be a five-yard penalty against the Patriots. So you have two men in motion at the same time. Down, so, to, down to three minutes and nine seconds left in the half. So it'll be third and 15 Paul now Sargent's for the uh, Patriots. And, and again, and if you're the Patriots right here, Ray, you're in a 7-7 ball game. There's defensive coordinator Denny Burndine, longtime head coach, athletic director here, and now a defensive coordinator for the Razorbacks calling the signals. But if you're the Patriots, Man, you cannot turn the football over right here. While you'd love to get the first down, you cannot make a mistake. Jackson back to pass on a quarterback draw. And Razorbacks <laughs> all over that. McCann was there. And so Razorbacks bring him down for a no gain on the play. That's going to be a third down. Tyler Gray and Nick McCann on the tackle. So fourth and 15 for the uh, uh, Patriots. Take a look here at the replay from Cooper Tire. McCann there. Oh, there's a face mask. He got away with that. He, he let go of it the minute he realized what his hand was on. Time out on the play. We'll be back to Razorback Stadium after this. Dentists and smiles are prepared for life's routines on and off the field. We take pride in caring for you. Whatever you pitch, we can handle. Every inch and yard matters. Every smile is a game-winning shot we love to make. We take charge in leading healthy lives. Smiles of Arkansas, game time maker. Punt by the Patriots going to be down at the 45-yard line, so a 30-yard punt. And the Razorbacks are going to get they're going to get great field position here, Ray. They've got 2:53 to work with, one timeout left, so plenty of time. But there is a flag down. It's in the backfield for the punting team. We'll see what the call is. Oh, it's roughing the uh, nice. kicker. It's running into the kicker. Okay, running it? into so the kicker. Five -yarder. So five-yard penalty. And uh, I, you got to think the Patriots are going to punt this one away again, Ray, because yes. Razorbacks are going to get it at the 45. 
They want to try it again here. So it'll make it fourth and 10 rather than fourth and 15. And they've not not moved the yard marker yet. Yard just marker placing the ball now. Okay. Fourth and 10 for the Patriots. The fourth and 10 is uh, Dominique Scott on to punt it again for the Patriots. And a low punt angled away from the pump man. He needs to get away from and, it. And uh, going to be down at the 44-yard line. So for the Patriots, they gained 12 they extra yards of field position because of that five-yard penalty. Yard so the Braves backs will take over first and 10 at their own 44-yard line, 2.45 to play. Plenty of time, one timeout left. If, uh, uh, of course, you want to save that timeout if you're the Razorbacks in case you need to uh, use it to kick a field goal. But the Razorbacks, with plenty of time here, would uh, love to go down and get the score because the Patriots, who won the toss, deferred uh, on right. the kickoff. They're yeah. going to get the ball first in the second half. So if you're the Razorbacks, you'd love to go down and get a score here before halftime. You see the smiles of Arkansas school board there, 7-7 seven, seven ball game here in the second quarter. Bishop, the ball carrier, going to be down right at the line of scrimmage. Is, uh, Number 33 uh, there for uh, that's Kerry Hilliard. That's actually... Uh, 32? Yeah, 32, Randall Harper. Okay, Randall Harper with the tackle. So, uh, no game for the Razorbacks there. Second down at 10. Davis in the shotgun, back to pass. Got a little pressure here comes, so that was a hold. And uh, almost intercepted off yeah, the tip. Behind the uh, intended receiver, Moss. And the Razorbacks got away with a hole there big time. The defensive tackle uh, actually got by the offensive lineman and he held him. And Joe, once again, the tight end was over here. Not a soul covering him. Nobody's picking up the tight end and the Razorbacks have not found that out and thrown the ball to him yet. So third and 10 here for the Razorbacks. As the clock stopped with 2.12 to play here uh, in the first half. Davis back to pass. No blitz this time, a little screen set up and nothing doing at all here is uh, gonna lose big yardage back to the 36-yard uh, line. He should get the yardage where he caught the ball though, and I think they will. Yeah, they're gonna mark it back uh, at the 40, well, let's see, 38-yard line, 39-yard line. Yeah, he never had time to make a football move, Joe. Uh, and he was just driven back from the moment they hit him. So that's his forward progress right there. Timeout on the field, 7-7 ball game. Dentists at Smiles are prepared for life's routines on and off the field. We take pride in caring for you. Whatever you pitch, we can handle. Every inch and yard matters. Every smile is a game-winning shot we love to make. We take charge in leading healthy lives. Smiles of Arkansas, game time making. Fourth and 14 for the Razorbacks who are gonna be forced to punt it away as Cortland Arterbury on to punt for the Razorbacks. And the Patriots are uh, going to get it back with four, 144 to play here. Uh, Patriots with no timeouts and have done virtually nothing on offense here in the first half. A low punt here. Going to be Ball's fielded. The and that's, the Razorbacks that's loose. It. The Razorbacks have got the football. And, you know, that's one of the things the coaches try to tell their, their, their young men when they're back to receive a punt. If you cannot catch it cleanly, get away from it. Take a look at the replay here. It's a very short, low punt, and the receiver tries to run up and catch it sliding, and he should have yeah. just gotten away from and that ball. Ty Mitchell, number 13, falls on it for the Razorbacks, so a big break for the Razorbacks. And that's something that the Patriots did not want to do. They didn't want to fumble the football here and give the Razorbacks another chance offensively. So be first and 10 for the Razorbacks at the Patriots 32 yard line with 137 to play. Davis back to pass. Here comes the blitz and well over the head of the intended receiver Hall there. 
as uh, number 23 blitzing that time from his linebacker spot for the Patriots. Yeah, nobody picked him up, Joe, and uh, Davis had to just get rid of the ball. Yeah, and again, you know, when Davis has been successful here in the first half, he's had no pressure on him. And uh, the defensive coaches for the Patriots are seeing that. If you give him time to throw the football, he's going to deliver it. So uh, you, you've got to put some pressure on him. And, and so the Patriots are dialing up uh, uh, blitzes occasionally on uh, Davis. Uh, empty uh, backfield this time. Here comes the, uh, the blitz. And Davis just going to throw it out of bounds right here. Joe, they, 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 they blitzed, but they really only brought the same amount as the Razorbacks had blockers, but uh, they got two of them into one gap. It'll be third down and 10 here for the Razorbacks. 1.28 to play as the clock is stopped. We're in a 7-7 ball game here. 6A South ball game for the Rock Parkview Patriots. Visiting Razorback Stadium tonight. So third down here for the Razorbacks. Bishop to tailback. Look for a draw, but they're going to throw it. Here comes the pressure. Set up the screen to Bishop. And Bishop's got uh, the first down as he's going to be run out of bounds inside the 18. And Joe, uh, they didn't get called, and it's fortunate for the Razorbacks, but they had about three linemen on that screen too far down the field. Take yeah. a look at the replay from Cooper Tarr. Yeah. The linemen are five yards down the field before that ball's yeah. caught. In fact, yeah. one of them's eight yards down yeah. the field. So a break there for the Razorbacks. Get the first down at the 19-yard line. 121 to play here in the first half as a Bishop's able to get out of bounds. And uh, this will be a defensive penalty against the Patriots. Trying to anticipate the snap count. Razorbacks get five yards and don't have to use any time off the clock. It'll be first and five for the Razorbacks now at the 14-yard line of the Patriots. Davis gets the play, comes in to the huddle, and... Uh, you got to think, Ray. Here, they're gonna they're gonna look to pass the football again. They've had a lot of success with that here in the first half. Davis back to pass, no pressure this time. Here comes the pressure, and uh, Davis going to be uh, swallowed up at about the 24-yard line. Patriots have the football, but uh, officials say he was down there. So the clock will continue to run There's now. On One minute left here in the half. Second down now for the Razorbacks. Ball back at the 24-yard line. It'll be second down and 15 here. Razorbacks got to hurry down to 47 seconds to play here in the first half. Davis back to pass. No blitz this time. A little screen pass incomplete. Patriots wanting the uh, wanting the uh, say it's a fumble, but uh, never had possession there. It was not a lateral. So the clock will be stopped with 39 seconds left here. Third down and 15 now for the Razorbacks. And right here, what do you think, Ray? Uh, maybe a little draw play? Well, not going to be a draw play unless it's a quarterback draw. You've got Bishop uh, along with Hall out to the left. Balls uh, and Stucky there and overthrows Balls at the 17-yard line. So it'll be fourth and down now for the Razorbacks. 36 seconds left in the half. And this would be uh, pretty far for a field goal, but they bring Braswell on to attempt it. It'll be a 41-yarder. And I, I think he's got the leg for it. No no wind at all here tonight. So they're actually going to put it down at the 32. So it'll be a 42-yard field goal attempt by the Razorbacks here. You cannot allow this to get blocked. Good snap. Kick is up. He's got plenty of leg. And it is good. 
the 42 ball. yards as Braswell puts it through. 10 to 7 for the Razorbacks. We'll be back right after this. Hi, I'm Alan Brown, CEO of Millway Federal Credit Union. On March the 1st of this year, Miller County Teachers Federal Credit Union merged with Millway, allowing us the opportunity to offer our services to Miller and Little River County teachers, as well as Nashville's Husqvarna employees. We would like to extend a big welcome to all of you and hope everyone has a great 2014 football season. Please visit one of our Millway branches or online at millway.com. Federally insured by NCUA Equal Housing Lender. For $5. Back here at Razorback Stadium as the Razorbacks have taken their first lead of the ball game here, 10 to 7 on a very nice 42-yard field goal by Tyler Braswell. And the good news, Ray, about Tyler Braswell, not only did he uh, make a 42-yard field goal, but he's only a sophomore. Oh, yeah, Joe. And, and the Razorbacks have a lot of good young talent coming up. And... Uh, They've got this 10 to 7 lead, and there's only 29 seconds left in the first half. So all they have to do is uh, avoid allowing a big play, and they'll take that lead on in and get ready for the second half. You got to think they're going to put this ball on the ground here, just squib kick this. And they're waiting on the officials to blow the whistle, and here we go. Braswell going to kick it away. Ball taken in at the seven yard line by the Patriots. And uh, good coverage there by the Razorbacks. Going to be dropped at the 20 yard line as Kendall Coleman makes the tackle for the Razorbacks. So 23 seconds to play here in the first half. Razorbacks up 10 to 7. And uh, I would be very, very shocked if uh, Patriots do anything here. Or a, uh, anything, you know, you cannot have another turnover. So uh, it's just probably going to see uh, Jackson keep the football himself. Yeah, they're down on their own 20-yard line, Joe. And, you know, it would be unadvisable to try to uh, force a pass or anything. And he is going to keep it. Nothing doing there as Jackson is going to get back to the line of scrimmage as Nick McCann there to make the tackle for the Razorbacks. That should be the last play of the half. Because the uh, Patriots don't Jackson have any more here. timeouts. They're not going to snap it again. And so that's going to be the end of the first half here from Razorback Stadium. As you see, the smiles of Arkansas scoreboard 10 to 7 for the Razorbacks here at halftime. We'll take a break and be back for halftime activities after this. Before you get in, get going, get gone. You need to get a tire that gets you. A tire like Cooper's revolutionary new CS5 with premium touring innovations for the way real drivers really drive. That's real life performance because life's a road trip. Come on, let's go. than ever. Let Red River Federal Credit Union help save you time with our virtual branch, the online service with interactive tools for our members' needs. You can open a new account, use electronic signature, apply for a loan or credit card, move funds to different accounts, and use the online bill pay to save time, postage, and checks. To find out more about how Red River Federal Credit Union can save you time, log on to rrfcu.com. We're just a click away. Red River Federal Credit Union. Get huge rebates, giant discounts, 
and rock bottom finance rates on every remaining 2014 at Robbins Toyota. Hurry, take 0% financing for 72 months and save $55.80 on a new 2014 and a half Camry. $5,580 savings. Log on to RobbinsToyota.com or hurry to Robbins Toyota, Kings Highway and I-30, Texarkana, USA. Brother James, these choir robes look really worn. Where can we get new ones? The Baptist Bookstore. We're almost out of offering envelopes. Where can I get some more? The Baptist Bookstore. Boy, the family Bible sure is worn out. I wonder where I could get a rebound. The Baptist Bookstore. We're out of usher pins. No, not again. Where can we get more usher pins? The Baptist Bookstore. For all your church supplies, there's only one place to go. The Baptist Bookstore. We're at halftime here at Razorback Stadium as the Razorbacks on top of the Little Rock Parkview Patriots 10 to 7 is the Pete Mankins halftime show coming up here in uh, it's homecoming 2014 for the Razorbacks here tonight and uh, momentarily we will be joining in here with the homecoming activities. Not sure if we're going to see the uh, band march tonight and uh, the uh, drill team or whatever, but uh, I know we're going to have homecoming activities. If you've joined us on previous telecast, uh, on the other ball games that we've had uh, where homecoming was taking place, PG, Texas High, Liberty Allo, it's all been before the game, but uh, uh, tonight, uh, homecoming here at halftime. Good evening, Razorbacks. And welcome to the 2014 homecoming ceremony. We will begin this evening with our freshman maid, Miss Kiara Thurman. <laughs> Kiara is the daughter of Kimberly Yarber. She's being escorted tonight by her uncle, Garland Yarber Sr. This is your freshman maid, Miss Kimberly Yarber. Freshman maid, Miss Hannaway. And Christy Way. She's being escorted tonight by her father, Billy Way. This is your freshman maid, Miss Hannaway. Freshman maid, Miss Alex Davis. Alex is the daughter of Greg and Melissa Davis. Tonight, she is being escorted by her father, Greg Davis. Your freshman maid, Miss Alex Davis. Freshman maid, Miss Jada French. Jada is the daughter of Fred Bradley and Nikki French. She is being escorted this evening by her grandfather, Jack French. This is your freshman maid, Miss Jada French. Freshman maid, Miss Lakin Latch. Lakin is the daughter of Craig Latch and Kelly Campbell. She is being escorted tonight by her father, Craig Latch. Your freshman maid, Miss Lakin Latch. Sophomore maid, Miss Lindsay Reeves. Lindsay is the daughter of Donald Reeves, being escorted tonight by her father, Donald Reeves. This is your sophomore maid, Miss Lindsay Reeves. Sophomore maid, Miss Haley Dunphy. Haley is the daughter of Matt and Tanya Dunphy. Tonight, she is being escorted by her father, Matt Dunphy. Your sophomore maid, Miss Haley Dunphy. Sophomore maid, Miss Sammy McAdams. Sammy is the daughter of Charles Melton and Sherry Massey. She is being escorted tonight by her father, Dr. Charles Melton. This is your sophomore maid, Miss Sammy McAdams. Sophomore maid, Miss Destiny Arnold. Destiny is the daughter of Brian and Lakeisha Grady. She's being escorted tonight by her father, Brian Grady. Your sophomore maid, Miss Destiny Arnold. Sophomore maid, 
Miss Tori Starkey. Tori is the daughter of Chad and Candy Starkey. She's being escorted tonight by her father, Chad Starkey. Your sophomore maid, Miss Tori Starkey. Junior maid, Miss Bailey Burney. Bailey is the daughter of Dana and Randy Burney. She is being escorted this evening by her grandfather, Dale Norris. This is your junior maid, Miss Bailey Burney. Junior maid, Miss Anna Claire Timmons. Anna Claire is the daughter of Mark Timmons and Erica Timmons. Tonight, she's being escorted by her father, Mark Timmons. This is your junior maid, Miss Anna Claire Timmons. Junior maid, Miss Jemaya McCoy. Jemaya is the daughter of George McCoy and Melissa Scott. Tonight, she's being escorted by her uncle, Michael Benton. This is your junior maid, Miss Jemaya McCoy. Senior maid, Miss Ebony Bowler. Ebony is the daughter of Tracy Salters. After graduation, Ebony plans on joining the military to become an attorney. This evening, Miss Bowler is being escorted by her uncle, Roderick Foley. This is your senior maid, Miss Ebony Bowler. Senior maid, Miss Delana McDaniel. Delana is the daughter of Ron and Angela McDaniel and Tommy and Deanna O'Malley. After graduation, Delana will be shipping out for the U.S. Marines on July 13th. She's being escorted tonight by her father, Ron McDaniel. This is your senior maid, Miss Delana McDaniel. Senior maid, Miss Rachel Clem. Rachel is the daughter of Jamie and Don Maddox. After graduation, Rachel plans on attending Southern Arkansas University to, proceed to pursue a degree in nursing. She's being escorted tonight by her father, Don Maddox. This is your senior maid, Miss Rachel Clem. Senior maid, Miss Tawana Cook. Tawana is the daughter of Leon and Jeanette Cook. After graduation, she plans on attending Henderson State University to pursue a career in fashion. This evening, Tawana is being escorted by her father, Leon Cook. your senior maid, Miss Tawana Cook. Senior maid, Miss Lakin Resecker. Lakin is the daughter of Chris and Patty Resecker. After graduation, Lakin plans on attending the University of Arkansas at Fayetteville to pursue a degree in nursing. Ladies and gentlemen, your senior maid, Miss Lakin Resecker. Senior maid, Miss Danielle Griffin. Danielle is the daughter of Michael and Gayla Griffin. After
after graduation. Danielle plans on attending college at either UCA or Henderson State University to further her education. Tonight, she is being escorted by her father, Michael Griffin. This is your senior maid, Miss Danielle Griffin. Your 2014 Maid of Honor. daughter of Kendall and Tanyaka Robinson and Eric Robinson. After graduation, Ebony plans on attending Texas Southern University in Houston to pursue a degree in sociology and later become a social worker. This evening, Ms. Robinson is being escorted by her grandfather, Herschel Robinson. Your 2014 senior maid, Miss Ebony Robinson. Your 2014 homecoming queen, senior Natalie Hamilton. Natalie is the daughter of Jason and Tiffany Hamilton. After graduation, she plans on completing her cosmetology license and pursue a degree in business and later own her own salon. This evening, she is being escorted by her father, Jason Hamilton. Your 2014 homecoming queen, Miss Natalie Hamilton. Once again, congratulations to our 2014 homecoming court. Time here at Razorback Stadium. Razorbacks up 10 to 7. We'll take a break and be back after this. Business Communication Systems is the premier telephone system specialist with factory certified technicians providing the architects with superior products and service for over 25 years. BCS offers business phone systems, paging and intercoms, voice and data cabling. Service and support agreements are available. Call Joe for your business telecommunication needs. 903-793-7101. Hi, this is Bo Phillips. How long has it been since you've had a big, thick, juicy steak from the Brangus feedlot? Well, that's too long. She's a red dirt girl. Last time we sold a new Chevy for under 12,000, our hair was a lot darker and Joel was a lot shorter. But today, you can buy a Chevy Spark for 11.9. And unlike the cars of yesterday, the Spark gets 40 MPGs. It's got 10 airbags. It's got a 100,000 mile warranty. Plus two years free maintenance. Plus, check out all these other standard features. All for 11.9. And we only have 50 Sparks left, so see us today at Or Chevrolet.
Back here at Razorback Stadium, our halftime score is Arkansas High 10, Parkview 7. And we've got some highlights from first half action here at Razorback Stadium. Cooper Tires highlights coming up here. We'll see the first score of the ball game. These are not the highlights yet. Not yet, but uh, uh, the first score yeah. of the ball game is going to be on a fumble by the Razorbacks. Razorbacks were in the midst of a very nice drive here. And uh, Davis, the quarterback, has a really nice run here. Ball stripped and uh, picked up at the 32-yard line. And a 68-yard return there for McElroy of the Patriots. Puts them on top, 7 to nothing there in the first quarter. And uh, here the Razorbacks going to get a uh, big pass play to T.J. Stuckey. Stuckey going to take it in from 30 yards out and tied up 7-7. Seven to seven. And here's a fumble coming up by the Patriots. And that second hit right on the ball and the Razorbacks, and that was a great shot from the sideline cam. Paxton came up with a recovery. Uh, and... Uh, Big play here, big incomplete there, pass. Knocked the ball loose, but it was an incompletion. And here is a 42-yard field goal to take the lead for the Razorbacks. Tyler Braswell kicks it in from 42. So our halftime score, Razorbacks 10, Little Rock Parkview 7. You see the Smiles of Arkansas Dental Center scoreboard. And there's T.J. Davis, the starting quarterback this evening, who Ray had a very fine first half throw in the football. And uh, he uh, was able to... Uh, come up with uh, 107 yards passing in the first half. Now, that's something that's really been missing from the Razorbacks uh, offensively. They've only been averaging about 84 yards a game through the year. So uh, a significant improvement tonight here in the first half for the Razorbacks. Uh, very much so, Joe, and the receivers did a good job of catching the ball. Uh, finally, Parkview started basically double and triple teaming uh, some of Davis's favorite targets, and they started bringing a lot of pressure, forced him to throw early, and uh, they were able to force some incompletions. But Davis has been very careful with the football. He's thrown it away four or five times also. And you look at the, the Patriots offensively through the air, only attempted two passes, no completions. Uh, so for zero yards passing, 65 yards rushing in the first half for the Patriots, 30 yards for the Razorbacks, which is really the opposite from what we're used to seeing out of the Razorbacks. They typically run the ball a lot more than we see in passing, but that Razorback, or the uh, Patriot defense, especially the uh, uh, interior of the defense, that defensive line has, has been pretty stout for uh, Parkview tonight. Yeah, m the Razorbacks have been have had to attack the edges and be and throw the ball to uh, move it against the Patriots. We're getting set here for second half action, and the Patriots won the opening toss, deferred to the second half, which means that the, the uh, Patriots will get the football. We've got stats here, courtesy of the Texarkana Gazette, and uh, here's the Pete Mankins halftime stats. And there you see you Seven first downs to five, but the uh, rushing yards, the Patriots, uh, that's all they've had is to be able to rush the ball. Arkansas High struggled a little to rush the ball, but the Patriots have no passing yards. They have only two attempts, no completions at all, and they fumbled the ball twice, turned it over. The Razorbacks have turned it over once, and uh, basically that's the ball game right there. It's yeah. a very even game. Yeah, the, the Patriots with that one turnover by the Razorbacks turned it into a touchdown on that recovery and, and return. Uh, so seven points on turnovers for the Patriots and basically three points for the Razorbacks on turnovers as they came up with that punt return, a fumble, and uh, able to get the 42-yard field goal to end the first half. So Patriots set to get it back here as Braswell has it teed up for the Razorbacks as we're just about to get underway here in the second half. Patriots, uh, remember, came in 2-2 two two in conference play. The Razorbacks 0-4, but the Razorbacks had played the four best teams uh, in the conference so far in uh, this season. The kick going to be taken at the 14-yard line by the Patriots. Back to near the 30-yard line go the Patriots here. And so they'll start first and 10 Red at that point. And a great thing to see number 20 for the Razorbacks come back into the game. Joe, he had to leave in the first half with a hand injury, and he's back out on the field. Jonathan Bailey, one of their big-time linebackers for the Razorbacks. So good to get him back here in the second half. 
Patriots very, uh, very mediocre in the first half. 65 yards total offense, all rushing. Razorback defense doing a good job on them, bottling them up. Put the man in motion here, hand it all straight up the middle. And uh, nice. not a lot there is uh, Green, the ball carrier. Bailey and a host of Razorbacks in on the tackle. You know, we saw the very first, uh, and Bailey looks like he's still injured there, holding yeah, his he, hand. he came and, onto uh, the field still holding his hand down. I think they've got it wrapped up real good. Looks like it may be a playing cast there, Joe. And uh, maybe even his shoulder, just the way he kind of he's waving his arm. They're not sure exactly, but the Patriots read their first possession. They had the football. Um, ran the ball very well uh, with their, they had the split backs there running the ball and, and since that time the Razorback defense has done a great job shutting down the running game and a whistle stopping play and a timeout by the Patriots here 11.05 to play Razorbacks up 10-7 to At Liberty Allo High School, a variety of opportunities exist to teach students how to be productive members of society. Dual credit college courses ensure that LEHS graduates have a head start on their continuing education. Extensive career and technical education offerings give students job-ready skills to compete in a shrinking job market. Extracurricular activities, including band, academic UIL, and theater, allow students to display outstanding artistic skills. And as always, LEHS athletic teams are among the top in the state. Liberty Isle High School truly is a great place for students and educators. Back here at Razorback Stadium as the uh, Patriots wanted to talk about it there offensively. It's all something they didn't really like and going to come back here with a second down and seven. Uh, really, the, the most effective plays the Patriots had in the first half, Ray, were the uh, plays that the quarterback kept the football. So we'll see what they come up with here. He's going to hand it off again here. Got a lot of running room this time. It's Green. Green breaks a tackle and into Razorback territory at the 46-yard line. So big gainer there for Green. It's going to bring them up to the uh, Razorback 45 with a first down. So that's the, the biggest play that we've seen out of the Patriots so far tonight. And that was another one of those quick hitters. That's really where they had a lot of their success in the first quarter was those kind of quick hitters between the tackles. So first and 10 for the Patriots at the 45-yard line of the Razorbacks. Got a man in motion here. Comes back. Same play. So hands it back to this time. Uh, that's number one, the ball carrier. That's Colby McNeil. McNeil again listed as a wide receiver, but he's spent more time tonight at running back. And we want to uh, take this time to congratulate the, all the young ladies who are on the homecoming court tonight for Arkansas High. Ebony Robinson, the maid of honor, and Natalie Hamilton, homecoming queen. Congratulations to those young ladies. So second down five here for the Patriots. A little swing pass out there is complete to Green. And uh, that's the first completion of the evening for the Patriots as Green works his way down inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. And, Joe, I like the placement of that ball. It was placed where he was able to be full speed running and turn up the field. Did not have to alter his stride even to, to bring that ball in. And, and the Patriots, you can tell, not really that comfortable throwing the football. Those are the kind of passes that they want to do uh, to have some success with, uh, little short passes like that in the flat. Pressure coming, and they're going to be sacked sack. is Jackson as Stacy Mulse gets to him on the backside, and Jackson Stacey never Mulse. saw it coming. Joe, uh, Joe, the Razorbacks were out there on the swing man that he wanted to throw to. Take a look. He wants to throw that swing man, and there's a Razorback right there with him. That's Bailey, number 20. And, you know, and here again, Ray, you, you, I'm, I'm oftentimes amazed. you got a team that's running the football really successfully, and, it, and it's almost like, well, we're going to try to surprise the other They'll team throwing the football. Never expect us to throw it. And a big loss here for the Patriots. Going to bring up a second down and 20 now as Jackson back in the shotgun. Green goes in motion. Jackson going to take it himself. Got a little bit of running room down to uh, inside the 30 to about the 28-yard line goes Jackson. So gets, he gets he, back to the original line of scrimmage there. He's going to bring up a third down and right at 10 yards. 
That'll bring up the third down and 10 for the Patriots. Jackson has uh, really been a, the best ball carrier that uh, the Patriots have, have had tonight. And, and Joe, the Patriots seem to have no inclination to try to throw the ball down the field. No, they do not. We've not seen one vertical pass tonight. Jackson back to pass, going down the field this time. Pass is complete. And, of course, that's because we just said they've shown <laughs> no indication of throwing the ball down the field. Kevin Allen comes up with the completion and reception from Kevin Jackson. Allen, and that looked good. I mean, uh, the pretty much the passing game has, has been very shaky for the Patriots, but that was a good look, good pass and catch right there. And, uh, I think that uh, you lull the Razorbacks into thinking that they won't throw over the middle, and then uh, they, they get a wide open look like that. So first and goal for the Patriots at the nine yard line as the Patriots have taken the opening kickoff of the second half and have driven down inside the 10 of the Razorbacks. Jackson going to take it himself and Jackson going to score from the nine yard line is untouched until he got into the end zone is Jackson. They made a great cutback move there to leave the Razorback defensive lineman in the dust. So well, the Patriots retake the lead here at 13 to 10. On the Cooper Tires replay coming up, you'll see right here, good block here. And uh, Jackson in the end zone. So the Patriots awaiting the point after. That's Gomez set to try the kick. And the kick is successful. 14 to 10 now for the Patriots. We'll take a break and be back right after this. At Pizza Inn, only our large pizza can hold a deal this big. Right now, you can get any large pizza on any crust for just 10 bucks. Spicy pepperoni, green peppers, and black olives on thin crust, just 10 bucks. Mouth-watering sausage, crisp green peppers, and mushrooms on New York crust, 10 bucks. You want a large pizza on any kind of crust for 10 bucks? You want Pizza Inn. Pizza Inn, our buffet made your way. Back here at Razorback Stadium is Gomez uh, getting it set up to kick it away and Ray. That's a, that's an impressive drive by the uh, the Patriots because they really did not have much offense the first half. They had 65 total yards and the 70 yard drive right there on their first drive of the second half. So the Patriots have made some adjustments. Let's take a look and see if the Razorback offense has made some similar adjustments. Kick away by Gomez, going to be taken back into the end zone as momentum takes him back. And so the Razorbacks will take over at their own 20-yard line. So we saw the Razorbacks in the first half, only 30 yards rushing. You got to think that the Razorbacks are going to try to establish the run here. They had some success throwing the football, but you're really not going to make a living trying to throw it around that much if you're the Razorbacks. The Patriots started bringing more and more and more pressure as the half as they got closer to halftime, and the uh, Razorbacks need to be able to to move the ball on the ground, if only to slow down that Patriot pass rush. The first and 10 for the Razorbacks. This is their first possession of the uh, second half. Uh, Bishop going to be the ball carrier. Bishop gets the corner, going to get out to the 25-yard line. So a good start for that Razorback offense and uh, good job blocking on that right side of the offensive line there for the Razorbacks. Bishop on the carry. And Joe, earlier we had said Bishop looked like he was cutting back too quickly. And a lot of times the, the, the play was open if he continued on to the outside. And that time he did, and they did have a, a little lane for him to run through. Second down here for the Razorbacks, down 14 to 10 now, 7.20 to play in the third quarter. Davis back to pass, a little screen pass there, set up to the fullback, Galbraith, and Galbraith's going to gallop up to about the 44-yard line. Pass to Big Galbraith. nice play there, a good He's downfield blocking by the tight end of 84, Joe. First down. Good job here as the... Again, One of the linemen so falls ball. down. So we're going to see Kyler Nowling, number 84, the tight end with a good block. Doesn't block in the back. He lays off. He does a good job there. The player turns his back to him. He lets go, and you got to do that. You cannot, you, if you continue the block, they will call block in the back. The so first and 10 for the Razorbacks at the 44. 
And uh, Davis going to keep it himself, gets a yard. And it's been kind of tough sledding in the middle of that Patriot defense there. They've got some very good defensive tackles, and the linebackers are very active as well. They're doing a lot of run blitzing, Joe, where they send one man into, into a gap, uh, one of their the linebackers coming into the gap. So second down and uh, nine here for the Razorbacks at their own 45-yard line. Patriots came out here, scored on their first possession of the second half. That's the uh, first touchdown, first points out of the offense for the Patriots. Pass is incomplete. They should have called Stuckey. that interference there, Joe. Davis's pass attempt for Stuckey is the, uh, incomplete. The cornerback was all over the receiver before the, the ball got there. Yeah. That. And again, it's a, it, I'm not sure if it was intended that Davis threw it that low, but uh, there was good coverage, really too good a coverage there. As, uh, as you said, the contact made before the ball even got oh, there. Oh, yeah, he had, he had him strapped up and was riding him like a bucking bronco there. The third down nine here for the Razorbacks. See what they dial up here offensively. Primarily looks for Stuckey and um, Dimitri Call in the first half. So here comes the uh, blitz. They pick it up very, very well. and. Stuckey comes up with the football in period two territory at the 33-yard line. So another efficient uh, first Stuckey down there by the that Razorback Stuckey offense. Razorback first down. Good job by that offensive line, Ray, because they had a blitz coming, and they were able to keep him out to get uh, Davis the time to throw the football. Stuckey's got a number of catches here. We don't have it in front of us, but uh, he's got at least five or six catches here yeah. in the ball game. He's He is not in the game on this play. So first and 10 here, we got a fullback in. That's Galbraith at the fullback spot. Moss is going to go in motion, going to fake it to him, and uh, Bishop going to carry the football, and Bishop does well to get back to the line of scrimmage. Big uh, number 73 on the tackle for the Patriots. That's uh, Ulysses Harris. Bishop stopped by Harris. Actually going to lose a yard. Yeah, They'll mark it. Uh, back at the 44-yard line of the Patriots. It'll be second down and 11 now for the Razorbacks. There's your smiles of Arkansas Dental Center school board, 14 to 10 for the visiting Patriots here in the third quarter. Davis going to try to get rid of the football, and that's going to be grounding there as uh, no receiver anywhere near the vicinity. Well, they don't. Yeah, there, there's no. It does not get past the line of scrimmage. It throws it out of bounds. There's no receiver. That's got to be a grounding call. The officials call. are discussing it, and I think that they will throw a flag here. And there's a replay. The yep, there's the flag. As Davis doesn't have anywhere to go and just has to throw it away. God, it's uh, it's got to be a, an intentional grounding. And a loss of down as well. Be third down and very long, very long. And Davis just didn't have anywhere to go with the football there. And and you know you, you got to get rid of it. You can't just throw yeah. it down there and, and, and you know it might get intercepted. No, it's better to get an intentional grounding than to, than to uh, take a sack and pop, possibly fumble or to uh, throw an interception. So, so the Razorback's going to talk it over right here, and it's going to be third and 24. Let's see. Third and about 26, looks like. Yeah, third and 26. So if you're the Razorbacks here, a draw play, a screen. Screen worked very well for them early in the, in the first half. After the penalty, the third third the Razorbacks probably the not going to be able to go down the field unless they look for the tight end, number 84, who was open on a number of occasions there in the first half. And Kyler Nallion is in there. He's, uh, he's, he's actually split out there like a receiver. Patriots having some confusion with their defensive backs. No pressure this time. Pass is going to be complete to uh, Bishop. And oh, he put Bishop the loses the football. He got back on it. And uh, going to be well short of the first Davis down marker. Is complete. Here's the Cooper Tires replay. No pressure this time. And uh, Bishop gets it out there at the flat, makes a couple of men miss. And you're going to see him lose the football right Actually, there. 
but the Brown knocked it loose, so it actually it really was not a fumble. So Arterbury on to punt it away for the Razorbacks, a low punt. And uh, this time uh, the return man back there, number four, Xavier uh, Roberson, gets away from it because, Ray, we saw one fumble out of him and some questionable catches in the first half. Yeah, trying to, trying to catch it when uh, he had to dive for it. And uh, that fumble and led to a Razorback field goal. And so, you know, the coaches talked to him at halftime. Those balls that are short, balls that are over your head, and if it's not an easily catchable ball, you just got to get away from it. Yeah. I mean, you know, if you end up losing yardage, you end up losing yardage, but at least you don't lose the football. Steve Baxley there, Coach Hunter, Coach Burdine, defensive coaches. And a play just straight up the middle here from the Patriots, just trying to get a little yardage. Just getting away from that end zone. That's Jackson, the quarterback, the ball carrier. So he actually picks up about five. Uh, we've got a kind of a bad angle on it. I thought he only had a couple, but he picked up five yards there on first down. Green is the tailback. Jackson under center. Green going to take the football and drive forward to about the 15, 16. Still going there, down, uh, down maybe at about the 17 or 18 yard line. Going to be near the first down marker. Well, they're going to mark him back at the 16, say his forward progress was stopped. The pile continue to go forward. Once that whistle blew, though, the play's dead. So it'll be third down and about one here for the Patriots. Patriots up 14 to 10 here with 3.20 to play in the third quarter. Razorbacks led 10 to seven on a 42 yard field goal by Tyler Braswell. Patriots came back and answered on their first possession as there's a big, big scrum and uh, it's gonna be very near the first down marker. I think they're gonna have to measure this one. Yep. I believe it's very close, Joe. You're right. Yeah, looking down here at where they're marking it, they're going to give it to him, I think. Yep, they've got the first down. Result of the play will be a first down for the Patriots. And it's very tough because, again, hey. uh, we talked about Jackson, a tremendous athlete. And uh, yep. we'll, we'll see the Cooper Tires replay. You get you got third and short. They stopped him on the initial lunge, but then the uh, pile was pushed. Offensive lineman in there pushing it and getting forward. So the Patriots pick up the first down. So first and 10 at their own 18-yard line are the Patriots. Jackson back to pass. Here comes pressure. Throws it down the field. Pass is going to be complete at the 45-yard line. Joe, that was just an outstanding throw. He was hit right when he was releasing that ball. Xavier Roberson comes up with the football. Here comes the pressure from, from uh, Quinn right here. And, and Jackson really not able to step into the throw, but a great job getting it out there. And a pass to Roberson. And uh, Roberson is going to be down at the 48-yard line. On the tackle for the Razorbacks was Michael Caldwell. Well, the Patriots started this drive at their own seven-yard line. And the football off. That's uh, number one. Breaks a tackle there. That's McNeil. Gain of about 13 on the play. Almost 14. And the Patriots have, have found something there that they like. They've uh, had some success with that play here in the second half. McNeil on the carry, Ty Mitchell on the stop for the Razorbacks. Result we've seen Green first. carry the football. We've seen ball. McNeil carry the football. Of course, we've seen uh, Kalen Jackson carry the football from his quarterback position as well. A 2-10 to play here in the third quarter. Patriots started this drive at their own seven-yard line. A little sweep here, handed off to uh, Roberson. Roberson breaks a tackle inside the 30, drags tacklers down to about the 26-yard line. Really looked like they were going to have him penned up for about a three-yard gain, but he actually gained, uh, I think, eight on that. They're actually going to give him 11 where they mark it. Uh, they mark it at the 26. That's going to be enough for the first down. So first and 10 here for the Patriots. Patriots are moving the football down the field. 
You know, and, and again, we, we saw very little offense out of the Patriots the first half. Had 65 total yards, 70 on their opening drive, which they scored a touchdown on, and now they've got another good drive going. Hand it off here to Green. Short pickup, about three yards, maybe four. And, you know, they, they run that, the receiver by, and it's almost like a trap-looking type play there that they're, that they're running. As uh, we got a Razorback defender loses the helmet. helmet. Got to come out of the ball game. You know, Joe, that rule was actually designed to stop the players from pulling their helmet off after plays because they had seen some of the people in the NFL start doing that, and it was slowing down the game and causing problems. But uh, it's a little unfair if your opponent snatches your helmet off your head. It really you is. you got to come out of the game. Jackson rolling out, and a good coverage over there this time by Caldwell. Getting pressure again from Quinn from his linebacker spot. We'll see here, Caleb Quinn coming from his linebacker spot, putting pressure on Jackson. Jackson rolling away from it, but good coverage downfield as well. Jackson takes a late hit there. Not the, not the fact that it was a a penalty hit, no. but it was uh, he gets hit right as he's trying to deliver the football. It'll be third and seven for the Patriots at the ball at the 24 of the Razorbacks. Certainly four down territory, Joe. Jackson back to pass. Pass is going to be complete to Green. Ball's, out. Ball's loose. Razorbacks. And uh, there's a scramble for it. I think the Patriots got back on it. Big hit by the Razorbacks to jar that ball loose. And a break for the uh, Patriots to get back on it here. Here's the Cooper Tires replay coming up. Pass is complete to Green, but a big hit over there. And that's, uh, I believe, Stacy Moss. So it's going to be fourth down and 11 here for the Patriots, who looked as if they're going to go for it. Jackson in the shotgun. Balls batted down by Nick McCann, incomplete. So the Razorback defense holds. The offense will take over on their own 27-yard line. Here we go. Big, big play here by Nick McCann. Jumps up, bats it down there as Jackson not able to, to do anything with it. That was going to be one of those little screen plays again. And uh, the Razorback defense comes up big, so the Patriots turn it over on downs here. And it'll be uh, first and 10 for the Razorbacks at their 28-yard line. 18 seconds to play here in the uh, third quarter. Razorbacks trailing 14 to 10. Arkansas MVP, the 77513, the player of the game will be announced during the fourth quarter. Patriots look like they're going to blitz and back off of it and uh, hand the football off. And nowhere to go for Cheatham, who's now in the ball game at tailback. Bishop on the carry. Oh, it's, excuse me, it's Bishop. Short game on the play. Bishop back still in there. Razor back shaking up. That should be the end of the third quarter, and it is. Here at Razorback Stadium, our score, Little Rock Parkview 14, Arkansas High Razorbacks 10. We'll be back for fourth quarter action right after this. 25 years of growing. Winning. Learning. Succeeding. Honoring the past. Embracing the future. Pleasant Grove. ISD. New Texarkana is at a great location, right across from Bobby Ferguson Park, where you feel safe, secure, and you can focus on your education. 
you know, there's not that much pressure of just going to a huge university where there's a ton of competition. It's more friendly and you can actually communicate with people better. There's not a teacher in this building that's not willing to go above and beyond to make sure that you're able to excel and uh, definitely be great in the field that you choose to take in your, in your future endeavors. We want you at UA Texarkana. Back at Razorback Stadium for fourth quarter action. Second and ten for the Razorbacks. Back to pass is Davis. Pass is going to be incomplete. Broken up at the 35-yard line. Just a big hit there. Perfectly timed. Intended over there uh, for uh, number 11. That's Demetri Hall. So it'll be a third down and ten now for the Razorbacks. They've not changed the, uh, well, there's a, apparently a penalty. I never saw a flag. I did not either. Oh, roughing the passer uh, call here. That'll be a first down for the Razorbacks. There's the flag at the 21. Hmm. So Davis has hit late after the throw. Penalty flag they hit on the Patriots. That'll be a first down for the Razorbacks. That'll be first and 10 at the 43 of the Razorbacks. So. Big break there for the Razorbacks, who would be facing a third down and 10. Davis is going to take it himself on a quarterback draw, and Davis is going to lose yardage back to about the 41-yard line. That defense not fooled again by the Patriots there. The it's number 32 the comes from his linebacker spot. That's Randall Harper to make the tackle. The middle, the middle of that Patriots defense is uh, is very strong, and they are they have good technique. They don't miss tackles much, Joe. The uh, the weakness of the Patriot defense seems to be the defensive backs and their coverage. If you can protect your quarterback, you can strike downfield on. Them. Second down here for the Razorbacks. Davis back to pass. He's got time. Here comes a late pressure. Davis is going to run away from it and just throws it out of bounds this time. This time he gets past the line of scrimmage. It's going to bring up third down and long. And, and, and Davis, uh, his primary receiver was covered that time. Had to come off of it to a secondary receiver. And by that time, uh, the pressure was on, and Davis did a good job just to get rid of it. So Galbraith in the ball game. Stucky out for the Razorbacks. Be a third down and 11. Last time that uh, the Razorbacks were going to face a third and 10, uh, there was a roughing the passer call on the second down and got the first down. So got to think the Razorbacks going to think about throwing it right here as they've got split backs. Bishop and Galbraith there, and along with Davis, who gets the football. Davis going down the field and pass incomplete intended for Demetric Hall at the 30. Had a couple of steps on the defender there. Just couldn't make the connection. So it'll be fourth down and 11 for the Razorbacks who are going to have to uh, punt it away here. Cortland Arterbury on to punt for the Razorbacks. Arterbury in the First half, average 34 yards on four punts. Very high punt. But a bound out of bounds at about the 30 and a half yard line. That's where the Patriots will take over first and 10 at that point. 10.41 to play here in the ball game with the Patriots up 14 to 10. Third throw, scored tonight, high ball 30. And it's been a it's, a, it's been a defensive struggle. Pretty much what we thought it was going to be. Both defenses we knew coming in this ball game very very good. Both offenses struggling a bit, uh, and uh, that's been the case so far here this evening. Yes, in the second half, the uh, Parkview offense has been able to uh, move the ball just a little bit better. Man in motion, handed off here to Green. Green going to get maybe one before uh, Bailey makes the tackle. The Patriots right here, Ray, would love to uh, actually give him two. 
would love to go on a very long drive. They started the second half with a, about a six-minute drive and scored a touchdown. Second drive looked promising, but uh, Razorback defense stopped them on fourth down. And right here, they'd love to take some time off this clock. They're seeing a 14 to 10 lead. It's quarterback keeper. Jackson's got it himself. He's got that left side, gets hit. And uh, Jackson not going to get the first down as Maltz over there on the tackle Jackson, along with uh, gonna make number third and 13. Short. That's Ty Mitchell. Got a Razorback Mitchell down. And uh, Razorback injured. I believe it's Channing Works, defensive lineman, who's injured. No, it's, it's not Works. It's, uh, yeah, it is Channing Works who's down on the play. So as they attend to uh, the injured Razorback, we'll take a timeout and be back right after this. Your knee bone's connected to your leg bone. Your arm bone's connected to your shoulder bone. But if something happens, and they aren't, you need top flight orthopedic specialists trained to treat a variety of patients, like the people at Wadley Regional Medical Center, who know the unique procedures and technologies to put you back on your feet and back in the game. Wadley Regional Medical Center. Quality, caring, close by. Third and one for the Patriots. Ball just inside the 40-yard line of the Patriots. As Jackson this time going to go under center. Going to hand the football off to Green, and Green may have Real it on second close. effort. It's going to be very, very close. This, this may call for measurement, measurement here, Joe. I think he's going to have it just by the nose of the football. Three on the carry. Well, now that I look at it, he may be just a bit short. It's kind of tough to see from our angle. Um, for a it's going to be very close. Now, if you're the Patriots here, Ray, you're up 14 to 10, uh, 9 18 to play. If you have a fourth and in inches, do you go for it or you do you try to draw the defense offside? I think you try to draw the defense offside. They're going to get it. First and 10, very, very close. We see just by the nose of the football. And I'm really surprised that Jackson didn't keep it himself. And they've had very third, the short, you know, third downs. Uh, he's been able to keep the football and uh, pick up the needed yardage. But J Green gets the first down, needed about a yard, and that's all he got. Good tackling by the Razorbacks. Just tough to stop somebody for that has a good running game for just less than one yard. Clock running now at nine minutes to play in the ball game. Patriots to try to milk some more of this clock. And the football off. And uh, that's McCann going to make the tackle from behind. There's a flag down. Coming in. Typically going to be a hold right there. Maybe a face mask. Yeah, it came in late, and the Patriots seem to be celebrating. So I think they believe they're going to get a face mask. Official's going to talk it over. Not sure why there would be a big discussion if it's a face mask. But the discussion continues here. Flag down at the 49-yard line. Ball carrier was dropped at about the 45. Came from the back judge. Usually those are going to be on, you know, in the area of the tackle, something that happened in the, during the tackle. Here's the a call from the referee. It is a face mask. And a five-yard penalty. Face mask to call against the Razorback. So it's going to be first down less than a yard now. No, it'll be second down. Okay, second down less than a yard. And uh, that's Green, the ball carrier. Down inside the Razorback 45 to about the 42-yard line goes Green. And another Razorback down on the play. And I believe that's Quinn, the linebacker, who's shaking up on the play. 
And there's a timeout on the field to uh, tend to the injured player. We'll take a break as well and be back right after this. Dentists at Smiles are prepared for life's routines on and off the field. We take pride in caring for you. Whatever you pitch, we can handle. Every inch and yard matters. Every smile is a game-winning shot we love to make. We take charge in leading healthy lives. Smiles of Arkansas, game time making. Hi, I'm Alan Brown, CEO of Millway Federal Credit Union. On March the 1st of this year, Miller County Teachers Federal Credit Union merged with Millway, allowing us the opportunity to offer our services to Miller and Little River County teachers, as well as Nashville's Husqvarna employees. We would like to extend a big welcome to all of you and hope everyone has a great 2014 football season. Please visit one of our Millway branches or online at millway.com. Federally insured by NCUA Equal Housing Lender. Caleb Quinn is the injured Razorback. Good to see him walk off under his own power. But first and 10 for the Patriots. Again, Green, the ball carrier, Green just into the interior of the line there. And big, big run on first down. Going to give him about six yards. And Joe, they, uh, the Razorbacks in two consecutive plays have lost two interior uh, defenders there, a lineman and a linebacker. And the Patriots have uh, been running the ball pretty well here on this possession. So second down and four now for the Patriots. Clock down to 7.55 here in the ball game. And oh, Nick McCann just blows up the tailback this time, Green. Green on the carry, McCann on the big stop for the Razorback. Comes in unblocked that time. And, and, uh, That's a very bad thing if you're a running back. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, McCann just introduced himself there. Loses a couple, does green. So third down now and six for the Patriots. And Green again, the ball carrier. He's got some room. Going to make uh, the first down. He breaks the tackle. Still on his feet. All the way down to the 20-yard line goes Green. Green on the carry. And, and uh, Green, I believe, is shaking up on the sideline yeah. over there. He stayed down, Joe, and he looks like he's in pain. That's a big, big play for the Patriots offensively, though, because it looked like the Razorbacks might have had him bottled up, and he was able to score it out to the outside there and pick up a big, big first down. And, Joe, he is hopping back to the bench. He is not letting that foot touch the ground. Yeah, it looks like uh, an ankle possibly for Green here. I'd say you look for that quarterback to be carrying the ball now. Yeah, and, and of course, they've got... Uh, McNeil, who comes in as well at tailback yeah. for number one. Number one. But they also bring in Dominique Scott, the fullback, number 34. We've not seen him run the football, but uh, he's a tremendous athlete, is Scott. And here's McNeil, breaks through the line. McNeil's not got a lot of carries in the second half, but and you can tell fresh legs as he comes in there. And Joey is he's not he doesn't break a lot of tackles, he's just quick. McNeil and carry. So McNeil picks up six back. on first down, so second down and four. As there's another Razorback, looks like he might be shaken up. It's Galbraith. Clock continues to run down to 640 to play here. Patriots going to have to call a timeout as the play clock was down to one. Timeout on the field here with 6.34 to play. 14-10 lead for the Patriots. Before you get in, get going. Get gone. You need to get a tire that gets you. A tire like Cooper's revolutionary new CS5 with premium touring innovations for the way real drivers really drive. That's real life performance because life's a road trip. Come on, let's go.
Second down here for the Patriots as the Patriots are at the Razorback 16 yard line. Just second down and four. And uh, nothing doing here again as uh, number 24 for the Razorbacks, Torian Gaither, along with Stacy Moss, come up to make the tackle. And a lose of lose around three yards, going to bring up third and seven. Third and seven here for the Patriots. Great. Do we see that same play where they try to get outside? We just saw on that first down run a, a few plays ago. I gotta believe he put the ball in the hands of that quarterback, Joe. Yeah, we, we had, he hadn't run the ball a lot here in the second half. When he's done it, he's been pretty successful as uh, Kalen Jackson. And we'll see what they call here on third down and seven. Jackson's gonna try to keep it himself and not gonna get anything. It's no, he, 56 makes the tackle. That's Chris Scott. There's a little miscommunication with the tailback who got in his way, actually stopped him from being able to move. Fourth and 10 here for the Patriots who may be looking at a 40 yard field goal. You got to think they are going to try to field goal here. They came up short on a 37 yarder. But no reason they should have. Their kicker has a big leg. He yeah. just didn't get a good kick on that first one. So they're going to try it again here. They'll actually put the tee down at the Patriots 28. So it'll be a 38-yard attempt here. Kick is up, and it is well short this time. And no good. And the Razorback defense holds again, Ray. And uh, really, the Razorback defense has kept them in this ball game in the second half. They've done an outstanding job. The uh, Razorback offense, uh, offense has come up with a field goal in the second half, but that's been the extent of their scoring. And uh, they've got uh, another chance here to prove it with 4.58 left in the game. And they're going to have to uh, they're going to have to get do something on this drive, Joe. Razorbacks do have three timeouts, 4:58 to play. We we saw them pass the ball successfully in the first half, uh, and then the Patriots started trying to bring some pressure and kind of disrupted the plays a little bit. Got to think that you need to look for some screens here, some little uh, uh, some little plays that they can get out there. And, and this time, Bishop going to be the ball carrier, going to lose yardage. Back to about the 12 yard line as uh, uh, Kerry Hilliard makes the tackle for the Patriots. And Joe Bishop has just not looked uh, near as fast as those Patriot defenders in this game. Yeah, they got they got some speed there. They're linebackers. I'm, I'm really impressed with the linebackers. Uh, Dominique Scott, uh, Hilliard, uh, Tyree Madison uh, have done an outstanding job for the Patriots here tonight. It'll be second down now and 17 for the Razorbacks. Davis back to pass. He's got time. Here comes the pressure and uh, has to get rid of it. Intended over there for Stuckey. And, and Stuckey was open, but again, Davis had to get rid of the football because he had a man coming at him there. Davis' attempt to yeah. Stuckey incomplete. Now up third down for the Razorbacks. So third down and 17 now for the Razorbacks. 4.25 to play. Now, you can't make a mistake here. Uh, if you do, ball game basically is going to be over with. Uh, you still got three timeouts. So even if you don't get the first down here, you can you punt it away. Play, you've been playing good defense. Your defense just has to get the stop. They cannot allow a couple of first downs. Davis is back to pass. Going way down the field here. Pass is going to be caught. Oh. As is well underthrown. And uh, Demetric Hall goes up and gets it at the midfield strike. And that's a very tough thing for a defender. If you're running out with them step for step and the ball's underthrown, they're always going to be open. Take a look at the Cooper Tire replay here. Yeah. Defensive back here, Ray, really lost sight of the ball. He slips down there. And good job by Hall keeping his concentration going up and getting the football at the midfield stripe. So first and 10 for the Razorbacks. Clock runs. 4-10 to play here in the ball game. Davis back in the shotgun. Going to hand the football off this time to uh, Bishop. Bishop's got a little bit of running room. He's at the 40, at the 35. He's going to be run out of bounds inside the 30-yard line. At about the 
six and a half yard line. It's a great job there. Take a look at the replay. They finally get the corner here. There's the Cooper Tires replay. Good blocking out there. 33 not able to get a hand on uh, Bishop. Bishop just runs out of real estate. But really takes it down to the 26 and got a half. pushed and got another eight yards as he tight roped the sidelines, keeping his balance. So 14-10 lead for the Patriots as the Razorbacks are threatening here. Bishop again, the ball carrier. Bishop runs over a man inside the 20-yard line. Going to be about a yard short here is Bishop. And that's like, that looked like the old Redskins counter trade, Joe. And uh, timeout on the field by the Patriots. And we'll take a break as well. Be back right after this. Your world is busier than ever. Let Red River Federal Credit Union help save you time with our virtual branch, the online service with interactive tools for our members' needs. You can open a new account, use electronic signature, apply for a loan or credit card, move funds to different accounts, and use the online bill pay to save time, postage, and checks. To find out more about how Red River Federal Credit Union can save you time, log on to rrfcu.com. We're just a click away. Red River Federal Credit Union. At Robbins Toyota, we know if you shop here, you'll buy here. Because where else can you find a quality pre-owned Camry for just $59.98? That's right. At Robbins Toyota, you buy a late model quality pre-owned Camry, now just $59.98. Plus, every certified pre-owned Toyota from Robbins Toyota comes with all this. But you'll pay just a fraction of the new car price. Log on to RobbinsToyota.com or hurry to Robbins Toyota, Kings Highway and I-30, Texarkana, USA. Second down run by the Razorbacks as uh, Davis keeps it himself. He's going to have the first down at the 16-yard line. So first and 10 for the Razorbacks at the 16. 3.35 to play. Three timeouts. Got plenty of time here to do the Razorbacks. Davis has the play. Razorbacks came in here as about a 12-point underdog, but got an opportunity right here to win this ball game late. And this has been overall an impressive drive. Bishop's got some running room again. Bishop back down inside the and a 15. Flag There's a flag. Bishop on the carry. It's flag. Be a, see whether this is a hold or a face gonna, mask. That's going to be a hold right there. The flag down. Let's see where the flag is. At the 16-yard uh, line. So they'll mark it back at the 26. It'll, it'll be first down again. But it'll be first and... About uh, 20. Right at 20. First and 20 here for the Razorbacks. And that's a big play. As they get that penalty. But now, if you've got to get a holding call, first down is the is the down you want to get it on. You don't want to get it on a second or third down, no. obviously. But they, uh, it would be really nice if they could. They don't have to get the first down on this play, but if they could get eight or ten of those yards back, it sure would make things easier. Davis back to pass, setting up the screen play here. It's going to be complete, and Bishop dropped for a loss at the 29-yard line. As that's number 32 again, uh, Randall Harper with the tackle. Bishop on the reception. Joe, uh, Harper on the top floor. The problem was Bishop was further down the field than his blockers were. Yeah. And uh, so the defenders were able to just be right there with him. The blockers never had a chance. Second and 21 now for the Razorbacks. Back at the 29 of the Patriots. Davis back to pass again here. Here comes late pressure. Pass is going to be complete to uh, Moss 
at the 14 yard, excuse me, 13 yard line. That's what they needed, Joe. Get down there and into a manageable territory. Here's the Cooper Tires replay. Good time. It's time for Davis to throw the ball. Moss is wide open. Good catch, a little bit behind him. And Moss down to the 13 yard line. So it'll be third down and eight here for the Razorbacks. And uh, down four, you're definitely in four down territory. No back set this time. Davis back to pass. No pressure coming. Pass is incomplete. Intended for the tight end this time. It double covered. Sure was, Joe. Just not open at all. And so it's going to bring up a fourth That's down it. and eight here now for the Razorbacks. And uh, basically, that's going to be the ball game right here. Uh, Razorbacks do still have three timeouts, but if they don't get the first down, the Patriots could pretty well run out the clock. That's right, Joe. So Razorbacks going to take a timeout. Talk about it here with 138 to play, facing a fourth and eight. We'll take a break as well. Be back right after this. Brother James, these choir robes look really worn. Where can we get new ones? The Baptist Bookstore. We're almost out of orphan envelopes. Where can I get some more? The Baptist Bookstore. Boy, the family Bible sure is worn out. I wonder where I could get a rebound. The Baptist Bookstore. We're out of usher pins. No, not again. Where can we get more usher pins? The Baptist Bookstore. For all your church supplies, there's only one place to go. The Baptist Bookstore. Fourth down for the Razorbacks, 138 to play. Razorbacks at the 13-yard line of the Patriots. Razorbacks got to have a touchdown here. And so this is really the play of the ball game right here. What can the Razorbacks come up with offensively? They've, they've thrown the ball pretty successfully when Davis has had time to throw the football. So if you're the Patriots right here, Ray, do you blitz Davis? I mean, when they've been able to blitz him, they've, they've been able to make him have some air and throws. Well, he needs to be, he needs to understand that it doesn't matter whether there's anybody open or not, you got to throw the ball. Yeah. If you have to throw it into a crowd and hope to get lucky, you got to throw it into a crowd. It's fourth down, yeah. and there's only 138 left in the game. Get an interference call, get a catch, get something. Davis back to pass, here comes the pressure, and He's pass is going to be complete for the touchdown. And so the Razorbacks take the lead here, 16-14 with 1.28 to play. Take a look at the replay here from Cooper Tires. Great job of protection by that offensive line. And that's Stacy Maltz who comes up with the reception in the corner of the end zone. And so the Razorbacks up 16-14 here with 1.28 to play as Tyler Braswell is on to attempt the point after. Going to call a timeout here to uh, get things set up. But uh, Ray, what a big play right here. Uh, Razorbacks, as you see, head coach and athletic director Todd Ledford, they had to have it fourth down and eight, and they go to the end zone, and Moss comes up with a big catch. Just an outstanding play. A perfect throw, perfect catch, and great job of protection by that offensive line. And, and really, uh, the throw by Davis, he, his offensive line, really it starts with his offensive line, has time to throw the football. He throws it to the only spot that his receiver can catch it, the defender can't catch it. And, uh, and again, the defender got his back turned there. Moss, great job of concentration, brings it in for the touchdown. And Joe, they're, they're working on, they're, they're spacing on this uh, extra point attempt. They're telling the, making sure the players interlock their legs so they can't be split apart and get pressure up the middle. A uh, very important extra point right here is the Razorbacks up by two. They need to be up by three in case the Patriots are able to go down and attempt a field goal. Kick is up and the kick is good. 17-14 for the Razorbacks. We'll take a break and be back right after this. Business Communication Systems is the premier telephone system specialist with factory certified technicians providing the Arclitex with superior products and service for over 25 years. BCS offers business phone systems, paging and intercoms, voice and data cabling, service and support agreements are available. 
Call Joe for your business telecommunication needs. 903-793-7101. The Eldorado punter get away and run down the field. Back here at Razorback Stadium as the Razorbacks have taken a 17-14 lead and uh, a tremendous drive there by the Razorbacks as uh, they took it to the length of the field and uh, put it into the end zone. They had to have the touchdown. They got it. And now up three points. Now, bad news for the Patriots, Ray, 128 to play. But the really bad news is they don't have any timeouts left. They got to look to go ahead and get out of bounds, get first downs where the clock stops to move the chains. But uh, going to be a difficult task for the uh, the Patriots. Ball is squibbed. Now Picked up about the 18-yard line. And that is the uh, the running back. That's Green 25. back in there. And uh, Green going to be stopped at about the 33-yard line. That's very, very big. So the Razorbacks here. Joe, I, I think you're going to see the uh, Patriots try to throw the ball, and they, they seem to be pretty effective here in the second half throwing the ball. Yeah, I, I think, uh, well, it looks like we've, uh, uh, well, I didn't. Yeah, I think the Razorbacks called timeout. Okay, called a timeout here with, uh, they got one timeout left, but uh, what we've seen out of the, out the Patriots in the second half is you see a good shot there of a homecoming queen, uh, Natalie Hamilton, along with uh, the maid of honor, Ebony Robinson. Congratulations to those young ladies, along with all of those on the homecoming court tonight, homecoming 2014 for the Razorbacks. But right what we've seen out of the, uh, the Patriots tonight, really, uh, they've thrown some passes uh, fairly well, but running has been kind of their forte tonight. And you you got to think that, uh, that uh, Kalen Jackson, the quarterback, put it in his hand, roll him out, let him either throw the football or run the football. Yeah, the Patriots are going to have to try their darndest to get out of bounds. The Razorbacks, on the other hand, need to try to tackle them inbounds, keep that clock running. So some issue here, maybe with the clock or something, officials talking it over. So we're set to play here with 120 left in the ball game. The Razorbacks up 17-14. Jackson gonna take it himself. Jackson gonna get very short yardage as Nick McCann makes the tackle. So the uh, that's gonna bring up second down and about seven, but more importantly, the clock continues to run. The Patriots do not have timeouts. And Joe, they're, they're still trying to huddle, even though they're trying to do it quickly. Yeah, I, I, you got to call two or three plays if you're going to huddle. Here comes McCann. Pass is going to be Inter broken up. Almost intercepted Almost over intercepted. there. And that's number uh, 26, Levert Paxton breaking up the pass. I thought the, uh, I thought the rebound of that uh, collision was going to send the ball to the Razorbacks, but it went out to uh, where nobody could get it. The so third down and seven now for the Patriots. The clock stops with uh, 48 seconds here. Uh, the Patriots have got to get a first down or get out of bounds. Now you had movement on the offense now. Yeah, it's got to be on the offense. And if an offensive lineman moves and the defensive lineman can come across, and that's going to be the call. And really, that doesn't hurt the Patriots. You know, at third and eight or third and 13, it really is not going to make a big difference. No. That'll bring up third and 12 for the Patriots from their own 31-yard line. you got to think more in, in terms of throwing the ball probably now, third and 13. Jackson back to pass, going down the field, going to be well overthrown. Well, clock will stop with 40 seconds left, but more importantly, fourth down, Joe. If they can't convert the first down on this play, the Razorbacks will be able to just yeah. kneel on the ball. And the Patriot coaches wanted uh, an interference call there. Oh, that was not an interference. The ball, ball was well over the head, and, yeah. and uh, so it will be fourth down. It was not an interference, Joe. Down and 12 for the Patriots. Let's hear it for the Razorback defense, if they can come up with a stop right, right here, will win the football game as the Patriots have no timeouts left. 
Patriot offensive line has had difficulty with Nick McCann here, trying to block him here, especially in the second half. Green, uh, excuse me, uh, Jackson back to pass and passes incomplete. And so the Razorbacks are going to win the football game. As, uh, pressure coming there by the uh, Razorback defenders. The Razorbacks are just going to have to kneel on the ball for one play as the Patriots have no timeouts at all. 34 seconds left on the clock. Chris Scott, along with uh, number 40, Tyler Gray, putting the pressure on Jackson. Jackson had to throw it well before he uh, intended to. And so the Razorbacks going to come up with a big win here this evening at Razorback Stadium. Just going to have to kneel on it one time, and that'll be the ball game for the Razorbacks. Going into that victory formation. Scott will take the, excuse me, uh, Davis takes the snap, kneels down. We will not have to snap the ball again, Joe. Well, they have not reset the 25-second clock yet. We're so less than 25. They're so. not going to have to snap it again. That will be the final play of the ball game as the Razorbacks come from behind to take a 17-14 victory over Little Rock Parkview. So the uh, Razorbacks victorious tonight here on uh, homecoming night at Razorback Stadium is a big, big win here for uh, the Razorbacks. There's smiles of Arkansas Dental Center score, your final score there, 17-14 for the Razorbacks. And Ray, as we said, the opening here, really a, a must game for the Razorbacks. Razorbacks had to win two out of the last three ball games. Uh, and so there's one right there. And so they've still got Sheridan and they've still got Little Rock Hall to play. Uh, they got Little Rock Hall next week. Little Rock Hall is uh, not a very good team, so looks really good for the Razorbacks that they're going to make the playoffs. Big, big, big step for the Razorbacks. And let me tell you, Joe, doing this in front of the home crowd on homecoming night was so special for the Razorbacks. And it's a difficult uh, task because well, you've got all the homecoming activities and all. In general, most teams play their worst game when they're having uh, their homecoming festivities. And that was not the case in, uh, tonight with the Razorbacks coming out and putting together a, a real defensive gym. And their passing game started to really click for the first time this season. And the Razorback, uh, you mentioned the Razorback defense really a, a big game here this evening, keeping them in the ball game when the offense struggled. And uh, the offense coming up with a big drive late in the ball game when they needed to uh, get it, and uh, 17 to 14. But, uh, right now you see the Razorbacks uh, as they play the school song. And, and you know, this is uh, a very much needed victory for the Razorbacks. Started the season 2-0 and with victories over Texas High and Liberty Ilo. Lost the last uh, five ball games uh, and 0-4 uh, in conference, but now go to 1-4, and but most importantly, one victory away from going to the playoffs. Uh, and that's something that, uh, uh, you know, if you're the Razorbacks, you wanted to, to keep that uh, keep that alive of your chances to go to the playoffs. And so they should get that win next week uh, that uh, will put them in the playoffs. And, and really, Ray, if they, they win tonight, uh, you won uh, if you win next week and, and the last week against Sheridan, you, you got a three-game winning streak going into the playoffs. And, uh, and from looking at the brackets this week in the 6A playoffs, uh, Arkansas High, even going in as a five or six seed, has a really good chance to to win the first-round game. So, so the uh, Razorbacks, big, big uh, drive at the end of the ball game. The offense comes alive. As you see, uh, head coach and athletic director Todd Ledford talking to his team. But, Ray, the Razorbacks, come in, they could come in on the three-game winning streak into the playoffs, get some momentum. they got a really good chance of winning that first-round game. And so uh, the Razorbacks, uh, even though they've uh, lost a few games here, uh, still plugging away right here and, and doing a good job getting getting back in the playoffs. So uh, we've enjoyed bringing the telecast tonight, 17-14, the final. Next week we'll be across town at Pleasant Grove as Pleasant Grove takes on center in a big district ball game over there. So for Joe Adams along with Ray Engel, we'll say good night and we'll see you next week. Thanks for watching Texarkana Football on KLFI TV. This program is brought to you by The Baptist Bookstore, Barry Insurance, BCS Business Communication Systems, Brangus Feedlot, Chicken Express, 
Christus St. Michael, Cooper Tire and Rubber Company, Courtyard Marriott, Cowling Title Company, Domino Federal Credit Union, Freeman Landscape and Design, Hampton Inn and Suites, Liberty Ilo ISD, Millway Federal Credit Union, or Chevrolet, Pete Mankins Nissan, Pleasant Grove ISD, Pizza Inn, Red River Federal Credit Union, Robbins Toyota, Southern Arkansas University Magnolia, Slim Chickens, Smiles of Arkansas, Sonic, Tamale, Texas A&M Texarkana, Texarkana Arkansas School District, Texarkana College, TDS Erectors and Crane Service, Texarkana Funeral Home, Texarkana Texas ISD, TMG, The McDougal Group, Dr. Todd Figpin, DDS, Town Place Suites, UACCH, Wadley Regional Medical Center.